どうしてもやるっていうのねラウンドワンファイトThat's the one. That's the one. Just keep uh, keep pulling that one up. Yeah. Uh, probably around to where mine is. You probably don't want to go higher than that. Or I say it's up to. I don't know what you're hearing. So, can you hear it? Can you hear me? Test test test. Oh. Yeah, let me know if you can if you if you hear me at all just uh let me know yeah is it it's not oh, okay it doesn't work okay, that's fine don't worry about it Uh, I had a I had like commentator audio set up so we can hear each other and we can hear game audio and everything, but it's not working today. It's okay. Uh, you need to like a balanced headphone or something, so it's fine. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Good? Okay. Okay. 
Roach said it, guys. He says it's fine. Jing, Jing's in the bracket. It's fine. He's gonna be. He's gonna be Jing. Listen, We're gonna see it. Just because Jin here doesn't mean that you know it's over yet, right? Yeah, that's There's... true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's so, true. A lot of other cheap things that any other characters can do in this game. Oh okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. We got. We, we got to. We got to. We got to see. We're not gonna call it yet. Also, I don't know if I should say it, but most likely, I don't know if he actually is gonna show up. If he does, then he most likely DQ. Uh, Jing, Jing, Jing is here. I think. Oh, right, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, never mind. I think this is him right now. I saw him wrong. I don't know how Jin looks like. How is Jin? This is Jin. And most likely gonna go Austin and Kriya. Uh, he has gone selfie in the past before, but I don't know why this in here is just general having that status effect. Like... But can you hear me? Fine. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I don't want to like like too, talk too loud. Okay, got it. Hello, testing, testing. One, two, three. Hello. Okay, got it. Okay. Make sure not to whisper into the mic then. Right now we're just trying to get pools going on. Uh, we're, in, we're just like waiting for people to gather around. A lot of people have been uh, just busy with a bunch of other brackets. So it's understandable why it's taking uh, longer than usual. But everything should start starting soon. Honestly, a lot of people showed up for this bracket. Uh, Quite a few people. Again, most notably Jin here. Uh, was caught a uh, well, me personally, but uh, by surprise, because I really thought he was done with this game. But like, I guess he saw it like <laughs> on the side bracket. He decided to give it a try once again.
Like I said, there is a lot of people in this bracket, uh, other than Jin himself. You know, there are a couple of NA players that play this game a lot. Uh, Sutenshi, uh, Lunar, uh, a bunch of other people that signed up for this. Event. And, uh, I guess myself, but I really don't want to include myself, but... Once again, we're still waiting for everything to get going. Probably not going to be that long. Right now, we're just into the, the abyss. Also, apologies in advance if there's going to be no commentary at times because I'm the only one that signed up for this comment, uh, this, and I'm also in brackets, so there might be times where there's like nobody talking for gameplay. And for some, that might be a good or bad thing, I don't know. I suspect a couple shadows probably uh, be a bit happy not hearing an uh, NA player <laughs> or, or a Tata Ruzi player trying their best to describe. Um, uh, happening on screen. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I saw that in chat, but I'm definitely not gonna commentate my own matches. That's like all levels of curse. Also, I suck at, I suck at multitasking too, and that's that's definitely not gonna happen. You know, my brain cells have been uh, working on two things. Day 7 and putting two sticks on the screen. Okay, sorry, wait, uh, how close do I have to be? Like this? Okay, like kissing the mic. Okay. Right here? Alright, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, good. But I don't know if I feel comfortable eating the mic, you know? But... In order for me to be audible, I guess I have to. It's all good. My worry, honestly, during this commentary is that I might get help my- I might hype myself up a lot. And I might end up picking the mic. And I don't want that to happen. But that's why I have- I have concerns with, uh, being this close to the microphone. Well, as long as I'm audible, it's all good. I definitely disagree that peeking the mic is funny, but... seems like everything's in motion right now. It seems like maybe things are about to start. I'm not sure. There are a couple of people that are missing. So 
waiting on them a little bit. Most likely probably off in another main game bracket, so probably can't make it. Oh, it seems like uh, Maiden Dairy and Swagger Muffin are going to be on stream. And I don't know who, I, like, Swagger Muffin, I'm not sure who they play exactly. I'm not really familiar, but I know Maiden Dairy plays Asuna, Delta specifically. And Maiden has been playing this game for a while now. Uh, she has put a lot of time in. And she's very competent with both running Asa and Celtic. Players are just getting ready. With Maiden running Austin and Celtic, you expect a lot of uh, a lot of high ice is in neutral. Just pretty much just an absolute like screen control or mid screen, like mostly on the mid screen. Like like this team, like when they're just like moving around in neutral with Austin those run speed and just like Celtic's just just like quick activation on 5s where she runs on her motorcycle and hits you and gets hard knockdown. It's just like really oppressive sometimes. Like it can catch a lot of people off guard. Also, yes, Maiden Terry is notoriously for just like playing like freaking two hours, three hour sets just because she'll literally like will stop playing until she passes out. I don't know what uh, possesses her to do that, but you know, she's strong. Like I said earlier, right now the players are just uh, prepping right now. Maiden Terry plugging in your controller, making sure everything's ready. Trying to get everything set up here. Make sure to have like a uh, as at least scuff stream as possible. Two hours too much? I, I mean, I would say so. Two hours straight. I feel like that's a lot. Like a lot of uh, time to just kind of sit in place and just like mash buttons. Yeah, I would say so. Like I mean, uh, think of it this way. Like it, like literally in that time, like you disregarding like food, going to the bathroom, like all this other stuff. Like that is pretty insane. I'll hear the projections for bracket if uh if it is on screen. Yeah, no, I probably rain honestly. Like she probably has done like just like concert sessions, like four hours plus, like minimum of four. I don't know if I should like be scared of uh, having that metric or or like really like just like amazed that would do a long stretch roach I mean there are some people who I message on occasion and be like yo let's, uh, let's run the set but uh, every time I do, it's uh, let's say it's not really good for my uh, mental health of uh, who I'm fighting against and uh, and the characters that they're using. And that's saying a lot coming from me, a Tasha Russian player who doesn't interact whatsoever. Right now, they, they seem to be yelling at the heavens to. You know, call Swagger Muffin to, so they can show up and actually play the game, but they seem to be nowhere in sight unless question mark. Oh here we go, alright. Never mind. He was here. Like I said, I'm not very familiar with Swagger Muffin, so I, I'm actually really curious to see who's gonna pick. Especially against uh, a team like Austin Aselti. Uh oh Kirino, okay. Uh I'm not really sure. I want to say that here, uh, not here, no. I want to say that Asuna definitely has advantage in this matchup in particular, just due to her, her normals and just like really good run speed. Even though Kirino herself is a really fast character as well, but like the thing is, is that uh, Asuna, uh, on the certain data that uh, Rain actually did, uh, Asuna is 
faster. And, like, she's, like, undisputedly, without any sort of resources, bent the fastest character in the game. Like, she has a really, like, amazing run speed. And like I said, Kirin herself is really fast too, but the, the downside is is that on top of Asuna being fast in her, Asuna just has better normals in general. Like her 5A and 2A are like really good disjoints and they hit really far. Like honestly, sometimes you you scratch your head and like thinking that she hits you with like a B normal, but no, it's like literally just a, just her A normal, 5A, 2A, just hitting like ridiculously long. And you're like, you just, you just want to stop, honestly, just like, just like, Stop playing the game entirely, depending on like who you're facing. Oh wait, never mind, I'm mistaken. Swagger Muffin might be running Shizu instead. So that long tangent I went on, completely useless. <laughs> so Swagger Muffin here running Shizu. And uh I mean the, honestly the same thing still applies. I mean obviously not the logistics part of it, but like Austin definitely even more so that just like dominates this matchup. Because Shizu, again, is really slow. He wants to get really close to you to, to, to like, do any sort of pressure. And Asuna can just, at a, honestly, at a distance, just, like, 5A, 2A, 5B, like, 2C. Just, like, not really, just disregard Shizu entirely. Also, just, honestly, just kind of be really oppressive in general. Because Shizu, uh, in this game in particular, there's uh, these things called impact skills. Where it's attached to your 5A, AB, and 2AB. And those are kind of like pseudo reversals of the game. Uh, and the reason why I say pseudo is because they have, instead of having invo on startup, they have guard point. So, armor. Uh, so, Izuo in particular has a, like, in my opinion, sort of like a bad 2AB. So pretty much his 2AB is where he puts his hand up in the screen. And during the animation, if you attack him, he'll do an automatic follow-up attack. The thing is with that is that there's a lot of situations where almost all the situations where you can literally just safe jump it like you can hit it and you'll like the follow-up will hit but it's so slow that you can literally block it most of the time and grab all, and also grab grab him out of it and here we go we're starting now and, <laughs> and that's what i'm talking about right away just austin is just like completely running at shizuo just hitting two way in the blink of an eye just didn't see any of that coming and then gets a hard knockdown here with two three six the way poke again, like hitting like a B normal. Running pressure hits hits him with the universal overhead, which is a four AB. Oh, right there! I, I'm assuming he tries to fuzzy match five A, but gets absolutely just this times it and just gets hit with a falling air normal. And already just a perfect for mating dairy, just absolutely running a train on Cheezo. Once he gets hard knocked down, another universal overhead, nice. Gets hard knocked down here with her dive kick. Most likely gonna look at Power Blast. Uh, doesn't confirm, but doesn't matter. She whips it, uh, she gets it off anyways. Gives her a decent amount of meter. It's JB there. Oh, escapes by Zeris trying not to get die, but it doesn't matter. It still gets clipped with the 2A. Or tech. And that's game one for main dairy. Sorry, I'm often kind of just like looking around. Just maybe contemplating what to do. Again, Austin really is such an oppressive matchup for like most characters in the game, and Shizu just really suffers hard in this. And here we are, round start again. Maiden Day tries to run up 5A, but like Swagger Muffin, uh, uh, counting for that, completely jumps over that, but <laughs> gets an escape was and a little me rambling. His JC there doesn't confirm into anything. Oh, does the 2AB expecting Austin not to? They run up and do something, but absolutely does nothing. So it's just completely whips. Oh, ends the ends the block screen the five AB. The thing. Okay, so that's what the impact skill was talking about. Five AB is the the neutral version of the two AB, and most of the uh, most five ABs will launch the character forward. And he and on block it's like absolutely horrible. You're really minus. So he gets punished for that, and it leads to just you know like see like rolling into climax super, and she takes the game. Right now, Swagger Muffin, like, using that Escape Blast is really detrimental because the Escape Blast... Okay, there's, like, th three different Blast types in this game. There's Power, Escape, and Combo. And Escape Blast is, like... Uh, 
has the longest like uh, charge rate. It, like it takes the longest to come back, and you can see that now with the red uh, numbers there on the top right hand of the screen. Vandere grabs him there. Another 4 B. Oh, drops a drops a combo there. Oh, hits 5 A B and it ends the set, and that's a 2-0 for Vandere. Moves on. Swagger gonna move into losers. Very quick work. 2-0. And honestly, like. That, that, that's a pretty good representative of like just how uh, bad that matchup is. I mean, Gavin Swagger Muffin probably you know doesn't play that game that much, so that's a, that's also a factor. But in general, like even if you know how to play Shizu really well, you you definitely still like suffer a lot. But congrats to Maiden Derry, just like uh, like again utilizing your tools really well. You know, utilizing your normals really well, or run speed, just completely running over. Swagger Muffin. Then I'll wait until the next match. Again, a lot of people showed up for this bracket. Like, it, it honestly, as corner as it sounds, it actually makes me really happy that, like, Regardless of if it interact if they interact in like the, the Discord server where people find games, like it's just good to see that people, you know, are, are playing DFCI. It really is a fun game. So I'm glad I'm really happy for the turnout. And just waiting for the next match. Here, a little intermission. Trying to get a game on stream. The other game is being played off, uh, off stream right now. Little intermission right now. Just waiting for the next match. And right now, it seems like uh, Dark and Dark, aka Milkman Dan, is being called into action right now. So he might be on stream. And Dark has been a longtime player of this game as well. He plays Tomoka, which is the uh, the set play player, the set set play character of the game. He's a little girl who just literally balls. Who just just absolutely dribbles you and doesn't let you play whatsoever. Like, on top of being a Sepulchre character, which is already like, you know, obviously Okazami is just really strong for her. She also has really good bunnies in neutral. Despite being really stuffy, like, you expect her to like, like, you know, a small character like, oh, you know, maybe their normals aren't that great compared to the cast, but no, it's not the case at all. Tomoka literally has like one of the best normals in the whole game with 2B, which is a, a complete disjointed, just like absolutely abolished his neutral button. Like it's insane. I really wish I can show you the hitbox in that move, but it's ridiculous. But on top of that 2EB, like she also has a really good 5C and also her frame data on normals are really good too. Like her 5A and 2A are both five frames. And that's like the fastest, that's, Eight, that's that's how fast any sort of normal can be in this game. Like, it's really fast. Fortuity is a really good poke as well. On top of it being really fast. Right now, Milk McDan is, uh, like I said, called to action. Being sat next to, uh, their name's most likely, uh, uh, Bog Box. Again, not really familiar, but good to see him turn out nonetheless. And we're gonna see who they run in the character select screen. Unless they might do a button check first, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it does sound like they're gonna do a button check, so. It sounds like I'm out of breath. Well, probably because I'm talking really fast and I'm not taking time to, to slow down. But also, I am out of breath because I've been, uh, I, uh, I signed up for a lot of games. And 
right now where they get you set up is where those other games that I registered for. And they're literally in the other side of the venue to other games that I signed up for. So it's literally just sprinting back and forth from a really long, long and big venue. So yeah, we're gonna do button check first, so. No, yeah, seriously, it really is. Like, again, like, I'm already, I'm like really unhealthy as it is. I don't do much exercising. So, going to this event has really done number. Okay, so here we go. It's gonna be No Man Dan, aka Dark and Dark. Right now, just gonna do a little button check. Making sure that when they actually do play, nothing, no shenanigans happen. And make sure that they actually get what they want to input. If they allowed people to come in during Discord to help out with commentary, that would be the most cursed thing ever. It'll literally be like a, a mad delay. It'll be completely garbage. Like, it would be nice, but like, no. Okay, so we are with the actual match. It's gonna be Tomoka against Taiga. And, um, uh, I'm not really familiar with how these two characters interact with each other that much, but I am familiar with Taiga and I am familiar with Tomoka. Mostly familiar with Taiga because, uh, playing against, uh, Luna, aka Uni Lunar. And Taiga, uh, honestly, she's actually a really solid character. Like, as you can see now, she's using her, that dress she does, 236. It's, uh, pretty much. Completely disjointed, and it has a vacuum effect. It's also pretty fast too, so she can throw it out a lot of neutral, or you know, she has she she can be ignorant with it if she wants to. So we are we have already Tomoko running her pressure, already going into the Okazemi loop that Tomoko is known for. What's it gonna be? Oh, like what? Uh, Vogbok completely disregarded that. Like, he jumped over, but it doesn't matter because fireworks are still out in the air. That's the thing with Tomoko too, is that she passes the. She has different follow-ups to how her Oki works. And as you saw on the screen, those flashes. That's like a, a specific follow she does. Where even if like Tomoko drops a combo, whatever, those are active hitboxes, so it doesn't matter. You still have to hold you blocking. Right here, we get a nice conversion here in the corner. Converts to do a lot of 5Bs, converts it to Trump. Put some uh put someone going to Trump State. Let's him access to reverse speed, and here we are, Rambu. Dark probably off to Rambu so he can get that uh blast meter back. And, uh, you see in the top right hand corner. You get 30% of that back if you manage to actually land it. And Dark and Dark AK Mogul Man Dan completely just hits him with uh Dorko 5 Dorko 5S. And as you saw there, Dokuro, Dok like, her 5S is really good for, like, AA and people, anti air and people. Or, well, some people argue anyways that with a game with not many good anti airs, but, you know. Again, some people argue different, but Dokuro is pretty consistent with uh, catching people, trying to g jump at you, or just trying to up back away with 5S. And that's what Dark did to get the game there. Oh, hits! Round start, Vogbox hits five, uh, 5C. And I'm assuming No Man Dan trying to catch uh, Vobos from hitting a button, trying to confirm it to Power Blast, but gets completely clipped, mistimes it, and just gets uh, Escape Blast instead. And this is a. Uh, I mean, Vobos is in a really prime position here to really like make it hard for Tomoka. You again, resources everything in this game. Your Blast Meter there, like like I said before, like Escape Blast, it takes the longest time to come back, as you can see with all the red numbers. And what you universally want to do is confirm it to Power Blast. And the way what Power Blast is, is that it's pretty much, uh, think of it like Gold Bursting, like in Persona, where if you hit the opponent, you get a bunch of resources. Except in this game, if you Power Blast like neutral, you still get resources regardless. It's just that you get more benefits from hitting the opponent with it. But it seems like that wasn't an issue there, and Dark is able to take the game regardless. Right there, Dark opting to ignite his blast, which gives him 50% of that uh, blast meter back, which is really important. 
Especially since he escape was. That's kind of what you want to do. Bob Box here trying to come in. Gets clipped. You see, that's what I mean. Her normals are just absurdly long. That was like her 5C. Granted, it's a C normal, so it should be long, but it's insane the distance that it can cover. <laughs> uh, and Aluna's just chilling. Uh, you get this nice provision there from, uh, from Dark. He gets a 2AB, hits with the... Uh, her projectiles there. Five C charge for some reason and tries to. I'm assuming he try to actually confirm into the five C so he can get climax super, but it doesn't work out for him. Gets hit with the universe overhead. This is probably it. He can confirm into a red trump here. End it with red trump and just complete kill. One bar. Yeah, there we go. That's game. That's two zero from old man Dan. Bob Box just like it's probably again like the unfamiliarity with uh Tomoka because that's that's a that's a thing like not a lot of people really play this game so when you see especially when you fight against somebody like Tomoka is very polarizing and, and it really requires specific knowledge to not make her over uh, run over you it can be very hard. All right, so Roach is playing his game. Um, I will try to commentate a little bit. Um, so we have Crippled Roach uh, versus Black Monsoon. Uh, I have not played Roach in two years. I'm sure he's improved massively. This is going to be a very interesting match because I know I'm going to have to play him later down in the uh, the bracket, so we shall see. Alright, so we have Roach versus Black Monsoon. Tatsuya, what did he pick? Who did he pick? Oh, it's Tatsuya. Of course it is. Tatsuya Lucian. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, combo blast. Wow, okay. Oh, huge punish here. Eating an entire climax iron. It's pretty efficient. Wow, getting the OTG. All right. Oh, Roach uh, handily takes the first first match, first round. Wow, raw climax iron. Catching Roach off guard. Trump, let's see what he does. Wow, gets his uh, his support canceled. Should be okay though, he gets it back quickly. Nice, combo into the uh, the goblins. 2AB, 214, aww. Trade for the hit. Roach playing a good game here. Getting that JC. Oh, what? Okay. Combo Blast 2AB into Super. Very nice. With the Trump. Wow, this is going to finish it. Roach taking the first game. Well played, Roach. Using those resources. I think Roach playing a bad game, actually. Come on. Come on. Maybe against his, his worst, his best day.
Don't get caught by that, uh, that two. Oh, wow, Raw Ronbu, what's going on here? It's nerves, everyone's nervous. I think this is, um, Roach's first Evo. I think it was back in 2019, he came out to Anime Ascension. Um, very, in the very beginning. Yeah, turning nerves, man. Come to a setting like this, everyone's watching you. Wow, almost caught with the, uh, the 4AB. Oh no, you've been giving him training. That's not good. He's gonna destroy me, dude. Oh man, Lucian saving him here. Finishing it out. Roach takes it two to two to zero. Pretty convincingly, I'd say. Alright. I think Roach will be back on commentary and I can uh get back to managing the stream. Good work, Roach. Good work. Good work. All right, Roach is going to do us the favor of disconnecting all the DualShock controllers here like a champion. All right, I got through with uh, my match, so silent. Definitely just uh, absolute silence when it came to that, but... <laughs> if I had to be a little bit toxic, I, I, I feel like I definitely could have played that a lot better. <laughs> I was doing some uh, very silly, silly little things, put it lightly. We have here Luna on stream, who uh, mostly plays Taiga, but also has a, uh, well, most recently has been trying to play KYH, which is another really decent character, actually more decent than Yonki Spoinky. I don't know that. Stop trying to distract me. Um, <laughs> why don't you? So, Luna here opting to go Taiga again. Uh, mains this character is pretty much since. Day two, because I uh, cause ironically he actually tried to make KYH, but switched off because he really just uh, just felt completely felt obsessive over just Taiga as a character. So he just put in a lot of work with her, and we'll see how the fruits of his labor will show up in this match. Looks like he's doing a button check here. Bells were opting to. I don't, this might, I don't know if this actually might be the character of the plan, but if it is, Shauna's another very dangerous character. Um, arguably the best character in the game. So it's going to be Luna against Bellsworth. So Bellsworth is going to opt out to play Shauna. wonder what assist he's going to run. Okay, Shauna and you. Um, I'm not really familiar with vanilla. Uh, I didn't really play vanilla at all. Oh, I didn't play vanilla at all. But I remember at the at the time, I think, from the some of the old heads I talk about, that team was like really, really, really good. Like, so we are uh, builder right away, activating 5s. There, as you saw, where Angie just comes down and just kicks the opponent at, at a diagonal. And we have Luna. It's complete corner. Okay, that's the thing about Taiga too. She has the she has the option with her. What well, you saw there was two, two, six. Where she, you can actually just hold a button and on top of it doing more damage, it will literally just carry them to the corner where, Tom, where Taiga has enough time just to still run pressure. Right now, Luna uh, hitting with JB, air to ground, reverses to the 2 6 And that's another thing, too. If you do 2 6 c in the corner, it actually gives the wall bounce. Oh, I accidentally draw, uh, doesn't confirm it to Trump correctly, but it doesn't matter. Belder Circle is dead. Okay, that's the thing about area. Dumping off a lot, but what happened there was uh, area 6s, and a lot of, well, if it, anything except for area, like a sort of projectile assist, 
you know, it comes facing towards the opponent, but for some reason, Komone thought the area needed to come from behind instead. So it's a really useful and powerful tool to catch people off guard. And really good against zoners on top of that, too. Like they're hitting JB, go to ground. Leads to nothing, though. But they're uh, baiting out that uh, 5C there. I believe, uh, Go take a <laughs> Listen, man, when you're trying to do play by play, you gotta try to compensate as much as possible that's on the screen. It's a hit for Grand, hits it with the EX blob sled, but also leads to nothing. I'll try to. Luna there try to confirm the play with a 5C. Oh, but gets a nice confirm with a EX blob sled into Red Trunk, which is a true combo. And as you saw there, it just absolutely does a lot of damage. On top of it doing a lot of damage, it also puts uh, Taiga into Trump state, which is very, very beneficial for any character. Because access to reverse beats, which is really scary to run in this game at times. As Power Bus confirmed there, he gets automatic uh, three bar there. Now he has a lot of meter to play with, as you can see, he's still on two. Oh, hits uh, Iria on Oki. For the play to come down, but uh, Bellboard just hits 2A on wake up. Completely disregards, doesn't even care. Oh, area setting up for the dirt plate, but gets hit. 2 3 6 into a Bob Slide confirm, and bam, gets into Red Trump. Again, that's the thing about area. Um, on her dirt plate, as you saw there, he has access to pretty much a, a full screen air unblockable move. That absolutely does, just nukes your health raw if you get hit by it. And that's what happened there to Bellsworth. Oh, Bellsworth confirms into 5S, but gets something out of it. Tries to confirm into the 2AB, but it whips. Once again, Luna getting that 2G6C confirm. Gets the, gets the wall bounce. Oh my god, as you saw there, on top of 2G6 being just really long and disjointed, it also has a vacuum effect. That pushes people in from a certain from a certain distance. Nice grab there, and it leads to a kill confirm right there. And that's 2-0 from Luna. Nice work makes quick work. Bell force. Uh, usually in that scenario. Uh, Donna actually has uh, advantage over Tiger just due to how she works. But once again, an experience showing it can be very polarizing. I know that can be said about any game where you don't really know what's going on, but for DFCI in particular, it can be very hard and to find out what's happening on screen, as you saw with uh, when areas in play. They okay, see now I have a uh, key bracket here. Luna's moving on to winner semis. Whoever wins the set here, Mayden or Sega, uh, they're gonna end up fighting Luna and winner semifinals. And now we're just waiting for the players to get on stream. So here, for people that tune into the stream, uh, is the Gigi Bukum Fighting Climax Ignition. It is, uh, like most people don't know, like, you know, French Bird is a very uh, fighting game developer now. With, you know, with works like Undernight Inbirth and, you know, and Melty Blood. And, uh, but not a lot of people know about Ignition. Uh, they, they have another game that they made. And it's this game. And it has a lot of elements from uh, different types of the works. You know, like Under Knights, you know, has the reverse beat system. And, uh, you know, Komodo loves his reverse beating because he added it as a mechanic in this game where, where if you get into this install state, uh, you actually get access to that. This game, uh, well, it's uh, not surprising that a lot of people know about it because uh, it had uh, only the vanilla version of the game got localized in the West. 
Well, a couple months later, the actual updated version of the game, Ignition, got got released in uh, Japan. So, obviously, that kind of demotivated people. Like, okay, well, why why do we get the base game? Like, shouldn't we get the complete package? So it just kind of put people off. So they never really took off. But from the matches that has happened, you see a lot of recognizable characters from a whole different franchises. Because this is a pretty much a crossover fighting game. The reason why it's called the Giga Bungo is because that's the uh, imprint company. Uh, that's uh, published under like a bunch of light novels that you see here, like Toradora. I got some of them put it online, obviously. You know, they, they come in full force. They have three characters represented in this game. Now the player's getting ready. Seems like the uh, Shauna against the uh, Asana. Honestly, this matchup is... It's like... Uh, uh, like Shauna, here's the thing about Shauna is that like... She has really good normals herself. But... Asuna, with her really fast run speed, can, can kind of like prevent Shauna from uh, from getting anything from getting anything going. But at the same time, again, Shauna has like really really amazing special moves that can like catch a lot of people off guard. Like a two on four, which spins in the air, twirls around, and it's just like this big hitbox that's like really like active, really fast. And even though it's not invincible, it just like it just starts off really fast, so it can catch a lot of people off guard when they're trying to meaty. But what Shana has uh, over Asuna is that like Shana definitely has a lot more higher damage compared to her. While Asuna, were again, she's really oppressive. She can make you like not play the game, but it takes her a little bit compared to most to actively kill you. Well, Shauna is the complete opposite. Uh, honestly, just like two good confirms, and you're pretty much done. And now, Shauna also has the advantage of just playing uh, with meter, the resources in the game, really efficiently. Because her blue trump that's in the bottom right there, blue lighting icons, you actually give her half a bar. Which is really good in a game where you need resources to pretty much do everything. Like killing, hard knockdown. Even getting more meter, because like if you spend a bar, like a single bar, you actually get, uh, if I remember correctly, 15% of your blast back, which is really important. And obviously we see the damage potential that Shana does. Meaning literally just one confirm, yeah, that's it, that's game. Confirms into uh, two A string Garen, it's like 5 AB and it's EX Garen and just annihilates her. Well, good, like, again, the, the me. The usual amazing round start the Austin Selby does is just like just call Silly 5S and just cover her with your you know big normals. Good to go. Nice confirmed there with the 4AB. Selby confirmed the success. Nice grab there. He's a hard knockdown. Oh, wakes up with uh, Trump there. And again, Trump is a uh, is the insult that uh, characters have. In particular, Blue Trump characters it actually pauses the screen for a little bit, so you can actually react to what your opponent's doing, punish them completely. Oh, we got a nice combo there. It's a decent damage. Literally one more hit and it's over. Yep, it's done. Oh no, made it off to the escape blast there. Really good, smart decision for her because she was literally dead. And you see Austin uh, utilizing what she does best. It's just like short, quick burst of just like inputting 6-6. Six, six. And that covers literally enough distance for her to draw 5A. Like, it's really solid. Nice grab there by Maiden Dairy. That was in success. Oh, tries to confirm into that scenario, but a little bit too high up for Shauna. So that Red Trump whiffs. Big Joe capitulates on that. Where be there from Shauna? Nice 5S. It's a 2C, launches in the air. It's a 2 260. Oh, nice escape burst there. 
was potentially dead. Oh, that's what I mean that Lashana can use. You can catch people off guard with that move. 2 1 4. Again, it's active pretty fast and it just like this huge move it covers a good distance of the screen. If you're not ready for it. Like, if you're just like charging, like, without thinking, you just get hit. 1 0 now. Is it Fire's call from Aiden? I think uh, confirming to power by Blast though, but gets it anyways. Knowing that uh, the Shana player was gonna. Aiden there. It's push black there, it doesn't matter. Back in. It's a 5A. Has pretty much no resources to kill, so it doesn't matter. She gets grabbed anyways to confirm the red trumps and gets the kill that way. Alright, main him around, uh, up around. Up back JC from the Shauna player trying to gauge distance. Made him once again, really get, getting away with these power, uh, these random power up blasts in neutral. Oh, Clash and Ariel there. In this game, what happens in, uh, with uh, what you saw there with 2AB is again, they have guard points. So if the opponent manages to hit that guard point with the Clash and Ariel, you actually can react back with a special Trump. You know, super move. And he gets a super there, he calls in Silty 5S. Oh, just a, just a random 4AB. I mean, it worked. This, is, uh, this should actually should be dead. Actually, would have been dead if he actually utilized uh, the blast there. It would have, if he did it in the combo, it would have uh, extended it. Gave him one bar, then Asuna flying up in the air. And uh, do a couple more hits. But it doesn't matter anyways. That gets the job done, regardless of that. And actually, it's ben beneficial at the end there, because he actually still has, there we go. Has blast on deck, so this gets that meter. Three bars right off the bat. Oh, main Derek gets a 4 AB, but doesn't confirm until it doesn't matter. It's the 2A. Oh, Clash and Ari once again. The Seg managed to win out there. Also, don't go 5S. Nice 2C. Oh, it tries to run up and uh, hit the Seg with, uh, with Trump. And the thing about Trump, uh, which is. Uh, it actually can be can be used like well randomly like that is that it does 30% raw and is an overhead so it can catch people off guard. But it didn't work there. Like there, oh the red trumps again! And it actually managed to click there! Oh my god. Celty managed to success. Oh my god, there's like a those last few seconds, sorry, it's just like there's a lot that happened really rapidly. As you saw there, that's what I mentioned is that Red Trump, if you manage to get it off raw, that's 30% life, just instantly gone. And hard knock, at least a hard knockdown, hard knockdown, and puts the opponent in a really good position. Round Star 5 is once again by Maiden Dairy. The seg doesn't matter, like up, you know, up backs and just approaches with JC. Play poke there, blocks, doesn't block this time. Like there, oh nice! Gets uh, us, gets us on the landing with the, the 5A. It doesn't matter, it doesn't lead anything. Now, Maiden once again in an offensive. Calls in Celty 5S. Nice push back there from Maiden. Makes uh, Seg with their C normal. Managed to actually with punish. She had enough time to actually run at her and hit her with 2A. This is the JC Seg. It does decent damage here. Next hit will kill. Has blast on deck. Can confirm right away. Oh, Maiden there gets in. It's 2A. Oh, push blocks. Okay, so Maiden tried to go for run up Trump, but Seg managed to push block and completely make it with. But at the same time, Seg was also uh, opting to escape by uh, so at least him just dying at the end that in that exchange. Players now again neutral. Oh, Seg there staggering, trying to catch Maiden from trying to push block 
Finally gets a... Uh, Flight managed to call it out. Right now, Sagan Trump say has access to reverse beats and gave gave them half a bar right away when they launched it. Go, go on Darko 5S. Oh, converts the power up blaster raw because you knew Maiden was gonna fall, gotta fall with the button. Calls that out and gets the meter to play with. So, pretty much kill in this next scenario. Oh, okay. Seg actually calls in Dokoro. Okay, so Dokoro has a special function in the game where if you're in hard knockdown state and if you hold the button, if you hold 5S, he just like completely annihilates like like the whole screen and hits both you and your opponent for a good amount of life. It costs two meter by the way as well. It costs two full bar. So it's pretty much the equivalent of using a super. Oh, Seg there uh, gets an air gets an air confirm. Almost kills, but doesn't get anything. Okay, Gish JC finishes off Maiden Dairy that way. This is a really close game. Seg there opted to ignite the character. Seg honestly in prime position, like, really good on, has blast on deck. Has one trump, Maiden tries to randomly trump there to catch Seg off, off guard. Oh, Seg managed to trump back. Doesn't punish anything. Seg jumping around, JCing. Oh, runs out, on a runs up with two A's. Oh, nice faint there. Once again, hits it with a 2A. Seg off to the escape blast there. Doesn't want to deal with it. Uh, but they were not dead there, so... Now they have no blast to play with. Oh, gets a nice grab there. Confirms the red trump. Nice. Put into trump state. Oh, mess up the meaty. So Seg just like... 2As. Nice climax super. Seg really... That's what that's, that's what I mean, like by using your resources of, officially in this game. Seg used escape us earlier, and like at the end of that, had no nothing to play with. Now both players move, move around, trying not to give anything away. Cause they both know that next hit is pretty much over. Oh, oh, Maiden gets the five C, but doesn't do anything with it. This is death. He's a climate there, that's the game. The 2 1, right? Yeah. Really, really. Huh. Both players just like completely colliding, putting heads. We're not giving anything away. We're just like going for it that whole entire match. But Seg managed to take the W for Maiden. Sally came up short. Okay, uh. One stream once again, so we're gonna be silenced. Be uh, right back.
ここから先はシャレじゃ済まないぞどうしてもやるっていうのね So,、uh, hi guys, I'm Hakansan. I'll be covering for commentary for just one match or until、uh, Dark and Dark gets back or Melt Me. So, currently, now and in, we get j a y with the grab, a nice with the r u s h i n support. r u s h i n support with、uh, mobs are very useful, again, especially when you're, again, when you're grabbing some vital. Oh, we got the nice back、uh, AB going down to EX special. Yuji helping out with his perfect com.、Uh, com nice. 2B down at the version. We go down. Calling. He goes down. Nice. Warren he beat up in the air. This man really. And he just uses another 2AB to go down on that. Perfect hit. Very lovely. Alright. On this support on roof. Very good here. It helps him out. Come a lot faster. Hit. All right,、uh, I just finished my match off stream. Roach is up one game against、uh, Palm Top Sona Lin. Roach taking the first round pretty,、uh, pretty convincingly here. Oh, he picks,、uh, he picks support on meter. Good choice. Ooh, blocks the 4AB. Roach with the reaction. Wow, almost gets comboed into Ryuji. Oh, what? Roach, what are you doing? Not holding back. Oh, now you get hit by 4AB. That's the ultimate tech in Dengeki, guys. 4AB. Crippled Goat. Hey, what's up, Pika Shocks? Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, nice job with the throw. Very good. Catches with the low in a standard combo. No OTG. Oh, Roach doing the fuzzy guarding. I see it there. Kind of not really. Yep. GG. Roach takes it. I think he had it. A couple of mishaps here and there, but I think he's just a little nervous. Roach knows. Roach knows that you guys are all watching him, secretly, silently judging him. This man, this man repping 100% orange juice.
Here's a quick update on the uh, bracket guys, just so you guys know. Jing's playing up uh, Dadpool. I don't know when that's going to happen. Um, and um, I'll be playing against Roach. I don't know when. On the other side of the pools, we have Lunar against Segel. That will be the next match on stream. Uh, the Tia went to go find, um, I think, Lunar or Segel. Someone. Went to go find someone. And that will be the next next match on stream, I think. Oh, the Tuntenshi versus Blue match. I really wanted to see that on stream. That would have been a good one. I know, it's crazy, uh, because, right? Uh, done uh, finishing my match there. There's not much to say, you know, I, I won, you know. <laughs> this is what it is with that team, honestly. He's six, seven, you know, two, three, six. It's done. Games, you, did, you, did, you, you won the Geki, you did the game. <laughs> I mean, there's obviously counterplay to it, but again, it's the unfamiliarity. Like, who I fought, then, you know, they're not really, they don't really know how, how bad that, that 6S is. Yeah, we can do that, yeah. We can play. Yeah, no, we can, we can go, wanna play? Oh, oh yeah, I just said yes, yeah, we can play. <laughs> okay. Or me, me and uh, Dark and Dark are gonna play a match. I haven't played him in a long time, but they're, re they're really good, they're really good. Yeah, so it was gonna be me and uh, Milkman Dan slash Dark and Dark. We, we played fairly a lot back when there was like, in the, the just the PSN days. We were just like constantly on there because we had actually good connection with each other because we're both from the same region. All right, so it's gonna be me and him up next. So yeah, I'll be back. ファイト。パワーアップグラフト。さて、模擬戦を開始しようか。お手合わせ願います。ラウンド 1。
Alright. Me and Dark just finished streaming and uh Dark doesn't have his headphones on, but I don't I don't wanna lie. I, I didn't I did not mean to pick Miyuki. I literally realized last minute I'm like, oh shit, I got him switched around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you saw it on stream. The moment where you see my face is kinda of like you know this is like go back, I'm like uh yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure you have it. I'm pretty sure you and Tom have it. We're having a fucking laugh. Cause you knew exactly. You knew exactly <laughs> what I thought I was doing. I don't know. I'm delirious, man. I'm like literally actually just die, die. By the way, uh, the match between me and Dark were fun. You know, ironically, Accelerator says with Tatsu is actually pretty toxic. Not gonna lie. Like, uh, like it actually is pretty BGs. Do we have on stream now? Is uh, Luna back on stream? Most likely gonna go uh, Taigo once again. Rain, dude, it is bad, man. Like, I'm. <laughs> it's actually insane how like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I I feel ill. Like, I, I'm ironically, I feel like I'm dying. And just because I actually done like physical exercise for the longest time. But anyways, enough about random tangents. But my health, nobody cares. Oh, never mind. He's gonna Luna's gonna run KOA to said. Uh, maybe he saw Sega play earlier and like just just decided not to indulge in that matchup whatsoever. Oh no, never mind. It's a button check. So who knows? Maybe he's just like pick KOA for the button check. No, no, no. Uh, the venue is actually pretty nice and chill. It's not that hot at all. This is again. It's like I, I I don't do any exercise, so I've been having to run. Just like all around the venue and that obviously when you go from like zero exercise to just like being a marathon runner that is gonna you know I'm, I'm gonna not gonna feel good <laughs> all right so here we go so it was a button check luna is gonna go taiga instead so it's gonna be taiga against shana and uh shana definitely has the edge in this matchup uh pretty much just like outranges her and just uh, arguably doesn't really have damage her, especially if uh, since Seg is not running uh, Tatsuya assist. So it doesn't have that real two-touch potential. 
But in general, this matchup isn't really good for Taiga, but... Uh, this comp here... Oh, nice clash reaction there. Uh, Tag there, uh... Got clash with 5C. Luna managed to react there. Depending on the number you actually do in terms of a clash scenario, uh... The lightest to heaviest, uh... The window actually gets tighter or lenient. So A is like, you have a plenty... A is like, you have no time to react. B is like, you know, moderate. And then C is like, you know, you have the biggest window. And Luna takes it there with a nice 2 through 6 EX. Luna tries to get a read on Seg, jumping in on him with uh, the red trump there. And he, I mean, he wasn't wrong in his line of thinking, but just like either just mistimed it or just like the distance there that Crash Gun was not going to hit. Gets it confirmed regardless there, puts him in the corner. Nice OTG combo there. Uh, area success. Oh, oh, the fireworks will not go off because Seg just managed to just 5A her. So area's off screen. Doesn't matter because that bowl is still there. That third bowl. Whenever Luna calls that assist, it's always going to be ready. Ready to finish that food. Character's here. Age of distance. Luna jumps up. Air to ground. Doesn't lead to anything. Makes himself unsafe with uh, whiffing or doing 5B. Oh, nice 2A there. Nice 2A match. Gets it confirmed. Uh, is it actually... Oh, no! The Rambu whiffs. Okay, here's the thing with Shana's Rambu. It's not really that great because it's first of all it's not a running round move so sometimes it has a hard time punishing a lot of things on reaction compared to other characters and you have to pretty much just it has a certain way of uh, in between hits to actually combo into itself so it, in that scenario it just kind of just whiffed entirely by the way when it gets cornered again gets okizami tries to hit uh area ball there it doesn't matter even though Whiffs hits it regardless. Nice Trump there in the corner. He gets access to Trump State. Now it has access to reverse speed. Tiger's pressure a lot more dangerous. Oh, nice JC there by Seg. Oh, 5S call. Comes into Climax here. You know, fairly decent damage there. Oh, gets the fire AB. Remember, but Iria. Oh, Iria, you forgot about Iria there. That's the thing. You gotta remember the third ball because if you don't. Because you forget about the third ball, and even regardless if you're still comboing your opponent, she still. <laughs> it just. Here he's just vibing and enjoying her food. So Lisa just really just bad stay here and Luna gets the kill. On top of again, Eerie just like dirt bowl, just doing the same amount of burst damage with the fireworks, the fil celebration. It also gives the the person who called her uh, a status up, and what that means is that when you get a status up in this game, it increases both your damage and your defense. And uh, if Iria managed to get the third ball off, you get the highest rated status uh, level in the game. If I remember correctly, it's actually 18% damage increase and 18% uh, damage de- like, uh, de- uh, pretty much 18% uh, defense increase. Oh, Sekiro gets corner. Oh, go combos into Trump here. Max in this combo as much as possible, get as much damage as possible. But then get any hard knockdowns and Luna capitalizes, hits uh, 5A on the way down. Oh, it calls in 6S there to control space. Keep tech blocking, doesn't matter. Oh, take there, called Dogro from the 5S Oki. Luna will stop blocking. Oh, doesn't matter, drops a combo, Luna hits 2A, Segs is 8 plus, but leads to nothing. Look at this damaging combo. That, that's the thing about Taiga and Ear that works so well. Is that you see the plate there. When it, it actually leaves Taiga enough time to practically combo into her 236 fully charged. And do as much damage as possible. Oh, the Clash did too many hits on that 236. So it doesn't matter. Try to Clash through it, but the armor just completely gets broken. 214. This is the climax, he gets hard knocked down here. Tries to, tries to catch Luna off guard, but thinking he'll press a button and wake up with the power bud, but he doesn't, so he just blocks it. He's like, this should be it. Combo blast there, converts to 5C, charge. Yeah, climb, yep, it's over. And that's the game. The clean 2-0 from Luna.
Really showcasing how absurd Taiga can be. Just how much damage she can just do. And just completely just wreck you. Not showing from Luna. Oh, on stream right now is going to be... Our, uh... Our JP representative. The only JP representative is uh, Jin. And again, he he's an amazing, solid player for Japan. Like, he has played this game... Uh, for the longest time, uh, obviously he doesn't play as much frequently now, but he was, uh, from the people that I talked to, he's really solid. He's just a solid game fighting game player overall, and obviously that carries over to DFCI, and he's just really good, especially with a team like Asuna, where he really utilizes, like, her strength really well. Like, his neutral already is, like, really good. He has a good sense of what to do, so with Asuna, it just benefits that, because, like, she can just like abuse the ranges that the opponent can't hit back at her with her normals and her movement. Yeah, Jin is, <laughs> I mean, obviously, I mean, I'm neutral with Jin, you know, I don't know him. So yeah, like, he's not my buddy. I wouldn't really call him my friend. He's Thomas' buddy though. Tom and him went to college. They actually know each other from childhood. They were, grew up around, uh, around each other. Obviously, that's a lie. Don't take that seriously. I completely lied there. It's an inside joke. I should not even said it on stream. So it's gonna be Jin against Deadpool, and Deadpool has uh, been playing the game. Uh, he he did play pretty frequently uh, when the server was popping off, and he was uh, constantly picking for games, and he managed to build a, a pretty solid cheese wheel. But uh, <laughs> right now, this. It's definitely an uphill battle for sure. Uh, for two reasons: the player playing the character or the character itself. Because again, the day it's still Shizuo. Right now, they're trying to figure out uh, the controls, trying to make sure that the stuff is connected, make sure that no controls. Uh, I said controls uh, mess up with his bracket. And okay, this should be an interesting match. Like again, I, I, Jin again has not. I don't know how often he plays in Japan. I'm assuming not off, not very often. But like either way, I'm pretty sure those fundamentals are still there, and it'll definitely carry over because Jin is a force to be reckoned with there. The round starts there. Jin calls in the oh nice power up from there from Jin gets the the meter, the resources necessary to, to really play with in the beginning of this round and do as much damage as possible. Well, that holder gets that JC confirmed, leads into command grab. He's going to uh, cancel the ES command grab. He's going to lead the hard knockdown here. Oh nice confirmed there. He gets the plate and managed to uh, is a situation where for the plate to hit Jin and gets the 2C off of that pickup. Nice. Oh, Deadpool there tried to get more on that Trump, but he was too far away. He should have engaged the distance a lot better. He is the 4AB. This is hard knockdown. Now Austin is in your face, and she's is not where she wants to be. Oh! Gets the, gets the Trump. Deadpool, he's 30% of health. Oh, Deadpool tries to up back. The plates come down, but doesn't lead to anything. Jin here, applying pressure. Deadpool gambling it all on 2AB, but ends up with nothing. That was definitely out of desperation there. Just like, again, you see how oppressive Jin can be, just like, being on top of that bull here. Oh, nice confirmed there, just runs up just two ways. Oh, nice uh, power up convert. Oh, that bull banking on, like, Jin probably most likely taking forward and hitting your button. He tries to AA him with a uh, red trump. But obviously, Jin does not take the bait whatsoever. It, uh, X away instead. Oh, play. If you can imagine, oh, 2 b wake up 2 b it works this time. Tries to convert to Rambu. He does 2 b again. <laughs> and he tries to do the same thing again. This time it works though. He yeah, actually gets the Rambu confirmed. And this actually leads to really good Oki for Shizuo. A lot better Oki than his climax. Oh, nice there. Uh, <laughs> Shizuo's plus a million when uh, he gets he hits JC uh, fully charged. Oh, the play that <laughs> that Apple hit earlier hits Jin. Catching him off guard. Oh no, what is Apple doing? He gets the 2 he had to confirm there. All he had to do was like command grab him just to avoid. But he misses, he ups to 2AB instead. He commands guys, and once again, he gets the kill this time around. <laughs> uh, good showing from that bull here. Uh, 
is really just on all of these like uh <laughs> one second decisions uh, out of nowhere these uh, these, these decisions of passion uh kind of drawing Jin off regardless Jin's still in control here uh, gets uh, the throw the super here that boy, oh no Jin realizing that that boy is going to wake up Trump just retaliates back completely negating that and getting 30% of his 30% health out oh come back up here in the corner over here, and JC, oh, thinking that he was close enough to hit the command grab. Both of them call 6S, but Deadpool uh, 6 has managed to get off first. As Jin has said, oh, nice fuzzy match there from Jin, but Deadpool realizing he's going to die right away. Escape Blast first right away. Really bad decision here for Deadpool. Gamble's on the 2AP somehow it works. Jin most likely expected the animation to be over and not active anymore, so he gets caught. Deadpool who confirms the 5 b gets the Climax Super here. Oh, but gets air to air double JB. And Jin takes out 1 0 over Deadpool. But honestly, Deadpool, we have a good fight here against Jin. His, uh. Again, he's literally embodying Shizuo very well. He's just like. Just making these snap decisions that's throwing Jin off. Deadpool here, calling 6S to control space. 2C obviously has a combo out there because 5 and B on block is really unsafe for Shizu. So the only way for him to be safe there was the combo blast. They give him plus. Then gets the 2A confirmed. Drops the combo though. Oh, Jin trying to catch Deadpool, trying to hit a button, but the power up blast. But Deadpool does not take a bait, but regardless, still gets the blast off. Even though it's not as much meter as it would if you would have hit the opponent, it still doesn't matter. It still gets the resources available. Go girl, third ball there. Doing all that burst damage. Also now instead of three, does 82% more damage. Oh no, Deadpool. Trying to wake up with 2AB. But Jin ready for it now. Knowing that Deadpool is gonna want to take his knowing that Deadpool wants to take his turn as uh, as early as possible. Fading that out. Gets into the 5C there. Here we are, Jin uh, round up. Oh no, Deadpool escape blasts. I'm pretty sure you wanted a power up, player, uh, power up blast there. To get that meter, but Jin managed to hit him at the same time he pressed. He thought of that, so it turns into escape instead. In here, building on third balls is going to do a decent amount of damage. 5A there. Jin gets it. That's it, that's the game. Jen demonstrating his, uh, his strong fundamentals there. Adapted pretty quickly to Dadpool's just destructive force. Trying to, you know, wake up with 2EB, hitting Trump, and just coolly just, you know, just wait it out. Wait it out, Dadpool. Wait it out, the storm. Just capitalize. So Jen moves on. That pool gets knocked into losers. But again, that first match definitely like again really good showing for that pool. Like some of his like his randomness like you know was working. Like, it, but you know going to that next game, you saw Jin adjust really quickly. Now on stream it is fading Derby against Blue. This is a. Uh, Losers, so whoever, uh, they're both in losers right now, so whoever actually wins this match knocks out the other completely out of bracket. Uh, most likely, what we're gonna see on stream is uh, Blue's been playing this game for a long time as well, so uh, and he runs uh, Kirito, so it's gonna be pretty much an ACL match fest. But canonically, Kirito is you know, obviously the protagonist, so he's the strongest character most of the time when he pops up but in this game also definitely uh has way more advantages and strength than what kirito has kirito has too many weaknesses for him to really be kind of be up there among the top tiers he has a really strong trump though but like outside of it like he struggles for sure like his normals are really slow he doesn't have a low hitting 2b if i remember correctly 
And most characters, you know, that's very detrimental because a lot of characters you get, you know, obviously when people are up, uh, backing away, you can catch people with your low hitting 2B and confirm it to a combo, but Kirito doesn't have that. And Kirito, along with the slow normals, he also has a... Uh, if I remember correctly, I think he's one of the slower characters in the game. I don't know if he has the average dash speed, but I think he's like uh, actually slower than the average, but I could be wrong, but it definitely feels that way when you're playing him, honestly. Oh, thank you for correcting me, AK. Yeah, his 2C is not a low. That's what that's what's not a low. And again, it's like having a 2C that hits low is very good because when you're moving around in neutral and your opponent's backing away, you can clip him with that 2C. At least a hard knockdown. I know, button check going on. What do you mean, downplay? I don't play here though. Why is that meme still going on? That makes no, I, that meme should have died a long time ago. Anyways, uh, enough of the inside jokes. <laughs> You guys are absolute liars. This is the freaking worst. I don't know why I hang out with you guys. Anyways, regardless of what's happening on the chat, we're gonna dive right into the match. Kiri doing us awesome now. Man in there calling uh, Celty 5S to establish uh, control right away and try to get hard knockdown off of it. The blue confirming. Gets hard knocked on of himself, tries to uh, power up blast there. I mean, power ups are safely. Maiden actually gets hers off and hits blue, so she gets a lot more meter for it. Maiden gets hard knocked on, plus 6A, try to run up grab. You see, unblock, faints, goes back, runs up grab. Again, Austin's speed is so ridiculous. It's really daunting. It like, can catch a lot of people off guard. Again, just like the amount of distance he covers in a really short amount of time is ridiculous. Right now, Blue, like, again, going into Trump State, here's the thing about Kirito that makes him really good in Trump State. Is that his normals end up being, and actually, end up actually being sword normals for once. And are just, like, huge, tremendously huge. And also, it gives him so much damage, uh, combo potential and damage potential. And in, and in Trump State, he gets these very easy follow-ups. Or, all you have to do is press one button. <laughs> Yeah, uh... That they're approaching in commentary, so I was a bit distracted. Uh... But anyways, back to the match. Uh... Made in there, calls 5S, gets hard knocked off, it doesn't matter. Blue, uh, Blue wakes up Trump. Now he's gonna get really decent damage off of this. That's what I'm talking about, it was on my fault. You see, uh... Hero there, just like, falling automatically. Blinking those... Again, it's just a press of one button. All you have to do is confirm uh, into one normal once. And do a special move, and then you just keep on pressing C. And you're good. Uh, Blue there tried to do 5AB there, but it's uh, too slow on startup. And it gets hit with a 4AB instead from Maiden. But it doesn't matter. The scramble situation leads to Blue anti her and getting a combo in the corner. But Maiden 4 attacks and gets Red Trump off and completely kills Blue. Also, to answer your question, no, Alhan's not here, uh, Abby. Like, uh, I mean, he, he never really said anything about going to evil, but yeah, no, he's not here. Hey, they're taking game one over blue. Oh, it seems like blue's switching off to Yukina instead. Doesn't feel comfortable with that matchup, so he's gonna switch off. Yukina is actually a very interesting character in this game. I mean, she's considered not that great compared to everybody else, but the one thing that she has that's actually really good is that she's the only character with actual three jumps. And that sort of movement option in this game is really good. It's like, especially since like a lot of these games, uh, a lot of these games pressure is like a lot of jump paints and like uh, calling out S's. So you can have access to three jumps just uh, makes it even more harder for their opponents to, you know, just uh, mindlessly just push block or try to, you know, constantly OS on defense. But doesn't matter main here, knowing that this counter pick might not be the best here. Completely negating Blue's life down to a single hit, confirm, and killing him. But Blue retaliates with Trump, is it confirmed here? Oh, nice pick up there. 
at least a decent damage and carries fading all the way to the corner. Oh, that's another thing about you gonna mix it pretty good. Oh, they get hit with a red trump and dies once again. But going back to another thing that's really good for Yukina, every character in this game has a, a specific potential. And Yukina's specific character potential is that she actually negates push block, and that's like the best, again, the only and best defensive mechanic game. Well, not the only, but it's a really good push block again, is really crucial. So Yukina's character potential just completely negating that, we're not able to push back her for a couple, uh, a couple seconds, is really solid for her. It actually makes her pressure actually somewhat terrifying. You see there, Blue, utilizing the tree jumps, trying to bait out an option for Maiden, but Maiden just sits back and down backs and waits for Blue to come down. Blue with a nice confirm. No pick up there. Calls in Mashiro. Mashiro there, as you saw, is the girl with the cast. She draws cast on the screen and at least a very good Oki, uh, Oki's Emmy and actually just good neutral control. Blue takes it there. Oh, Blue doesn't opt to ignite his blast for some reason. I'm pretty sure uh, in his head that like, he power up blast, so it comes up fairly quickly. It's not that it's not too slow, but so he he rather go off. He rather ignite both his character for that uh, added bonus. We saw the potential there. Made Maiden there to see the red flashes to try to push block, but he can't. Oh, Maiden red trumps. Raw 30% gone from Blue. We're really being susceptible to those random red trumps on wake up. Not really baiting him out or trying to grab him. Alright, applying pressure there. You see Austin of pressure. You just like run in and just cover the screen in the blink of an eye. Got a situation here. But out there. Oh, they didn't try to red trump with blue. It was further away and like got a red trump of his own. Taking Maiden's like 30%. Life is gone. Right there. Oh, five minutes call. Selty. And that does it. That's 2-0. The main dairy. And I'm assuming that is, yeah, that is uh, Blue's run uh, end at this tournament. Very unfortunate scenario there. Again, that's how good Celti is. Like, like she can she can literally be the factor in those like last hit scenarios where you just like press the button, bam, and the blink of an eye just like that. Just like on screen. Boom. Again, really made it, uh, made it having a really strong showing here in Vortex Gallery. Doing really well. Besides from, again, from one match from Seg, but again, a very close match too. They're both just really just going at it. But we have that pool. Back on, uh, back on stream. Trying to make his loser run. Try to crawl his way back. From the clutches of the feet. And hopefully grass. Victory. Once again, we're watching Yankee Buko fighting Climax Ignition. And we're now, we're just waiting for the players to set up the controls, you know, pick the characters, maybe button check, who knows. Yes, Abby, for Sony PlayStation. Uh, I'm pretty sure main is the top eight now, yeah, I'm assuming so. We are gonna set the buttons first. There's a bracket somewhere. It should be in Star.gg, specifically in Vortex Gallery. So I'm pretty sure if you search Vortex Gallery in uh, in the search engine for Star.gg, you'll you'll find out all the uh, brackets that they're hosting and DFCI is on there. Oh, made it. Wait, no, I'm sorry, not made it. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm completely still back in time reminiscing about that match. Bro, I, I am actually so tired. It's actually insane. Oh, you saw my glimpses of uh, my, my. My sanity is, uh, is cracking. <laughs> Yeah. 
The Deadpool using... No, the names are actually switched around. The Deadpool is on the left-hand side of the screen and you have uh, Sona on the right-hand side. So Deadpool is on the left and Sona is on the, on the right. So we are Deadpool again running Shizuo area. Really good team for Shizuo, honestly. Probably, honestly, probably the best team for Shizuo in my opinion. This gets a lot of area, protects her pretty well. And uh, benefits really well from, uh, from setting up those plates and getting that damage up. Deadpool there, uh, uh, power blast is on wake up and uh, Sona hits 4AB but Clash and Nario, so. Doesn't really eat anything. Here we go, corner. Oh, nice pick up there from Deadpool, but drops the combo, doesn't matter. Still managed to take that round. It's a perfect there on Sona. Oh, Sona just walks back, just 5 8 Bs. Uh, I mean, it managed to work there, but didn't lead to anything. Didn't combo blast or nothing, so just a raw hit. Deadpool there setting up here once again, get hitting plate. Nice Dabble, uh, nice use of his range there, utilizing that JB to his most efficiency. Just kind of just neutral up backing, just like max range JBing. So he's not in any threat, but the opponent is. Oh, we go, we get the air hit confirmed here. Oh, jumps the combo though. Oh, Ryuji's back on screen. Comes down with EX bobsled. Ryuji here is going to still carry the combo. Yes, he's still going to continue the combo here. Once again, Sona trying to 5 be there. But Clash and Lisa nothing. Oh, nice pickup there from Dapple. This should be it. Climax it to just spending Trump on... Yeah, there you go. That's game. That's another thing you can do in this game as well is that if you have... Instead of you're using your Trumps for that 30% or that install, is that you can actually sp you spend your Trumps to increase the damage of your super. Climax and Rambu, specifically. And it can come in really clutch too, uh, the scenarios. Cause it does, a, it adds a lot of damage. I don't know the exact value, number value of them, but it, it adds quite a bit. Oh, Sona again, once he comes to combo, doesn't matter, Ryuji saves. Taiga, the way Ryuji works is that he comes in on screen, he's not a hitbox at all, he doesn't have any, he, he cannot interact with him whatsoever. But when he comes back, that's when he's actually active and he actually hits the opponent. Oh, just up back, charge JC there. It's a nice confirm, decent damage, gets a hard knockdown, calls area to set her up, gets a place. Now they're able to go in. Oh! Don't there fight ABs, but Deadpool there managed to clash with his normal, but he clashes back with good reactions there. Also, the random lead trumps, but doesn't matter because area's big in third ball. <laughs> Completely ignites the screen and just blows Sona away. <laughs> Sona good gets the nice power up there, getting meter. Ryuji carrying uh, Deadpool away to the screen, but drops a combo. Deadpool there picking up with the command grab. Sets up here once again. Plate being hit up in the air. Oh, Sona just rushes in with the 5 b Oh, nice 2C there. Ages the distance really well and just like managed to actually uh, completely hit someone there. Oh, play pickup. Play hits Tiger, launches up in the air. It's a combo. Oh, here we go. That's the thing. Okay, that's the thing about why this team is very dangerous with Shizuo. It's because when Iria has her dirt plate, again, those fireworks are completely air unblockable. So you cannot up back it whatsoever. But since Shizuo is a command grab character, if you're just like down back in the entire time, then Shizuo is just able to just grab you out of out of a uh, blocking and just completely blow you up. So it literally leads to an unblockable situation where like if you up back, you get hit by fireworks. If you just like stay there and down back, then you're gonna get hit by command grab. So it leads to a really messed up situation for the opponent. There you go, Dabble takes it 2-0, moves on into the loser's bracket and Sona gets knocked out. Good showing from Dapple there. There are ways to get out of that setup. Uh, but again, like, obviously, the favor 
is on Chizu's side because, you know, there's only so much the opponent can do. But what they can do is that obviously they can Rambu because they'll because Rambu is uh, frame one in ball. So if the opponent knows that Shizu is going to go run up command grab them or just like, run up and hit a button, then preemptively they can Rambu and just completely invalidate both the fireworks and the command grab and just punish Shizu completely. But that is one way to get out of that too. Well, another thing too is that they can, uh, if they're, if they time it very well, they can actually just power up blast. And since power up blast has invulnerability for a significant amount of frames, then they're able to completely negate both the fireworks and the command grab if they time it well. But obviously, miss time, then you get hit by fireworks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, you did. No, you did. You really did. That first round. By the way, Deadpool's on commentary now, if you can hear him. But, uh... But, yeah, that first round, you managed to kind of throw him off with the two ABs and then the trumps. And you can see that he was, like, getting hit by them. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed. Yeah, he was, yeah. By the way, uh, you want to get the mic literally, you want to literally eat the mic. Like, under your chin, like, like, the top of the mic, like, kind of under your chin. I mean, you can do that, too. Yeah, I mean, true, yeah. I don't know how, <laughs> how much you can actually hear you. So, okay, we have, uh, Nomad Dan on stream with his Tomoko, who is now on Losers. Is he talking to himself? Oh, man, they can't hear you. That's unfortunate. They literally can't hear you. Yeah, no, but just... <laughs> No, okay, like, cause, uh, like, next to me right now is that pool, but there's, like, a second mic, but it's, like, not working at all. So, there's no audio going through. But anyways, into the match, uh, Kiyomi running Kuroko and Work now. and then, obviously, Dan here running both Tomoka and Dokoro, which is a really solid team. It doesn't work now? And Kuroko, honestly, is, like, really solid okay. character. Like, uh, Sorry. apparently no. this one works. Wait, does that mic work? Apparently. Apparently? Wait, can you, uh... Can you guys hear Deadpool now? I don't know if you, you guys hear like a second voice that you don't yeah. recognize other than me. Uh, who did Milk the Man beat? No, oh, let's do it. Sorry. Dark, dark, dark and Dark. Wait, who? Dark and Dark? Oh, uh... Well, I mean, he got knocked into losers. I mean, I don't know, actually. It wasn't on stream, so it was off stream that he knocked okay. somebody out. I, I knew that he was, uh, like, our entire side of our pool uh, was nothing but, like, California players. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which is surprising because we've been trying to find California players. Yeah, for real. Yeah, there's like nobody. Again, nobody. I mean, it's already niche as it is, but people literally just know West Coast players at all for this game yeah. whatsoever. Uh -huh. But he's coming there, hits the projectile on uh, Dan there, and just trying to zone him out. But going down on life, so he probably wants to uh, do something here soon. Until, okay, I had to look at what round. Well, gets a counter 5s there. Uh -huh. You have to be careful with these like air snipes because you can get sniped by like, Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, there's there's, there's, there's a, a bit of aim lag there, so Dan can capitalize on it, and then he gets to 5C there and completely kills Kiyomi. Kiyomi got a little bit too like you know, like you know, like terrorizing because of uh, how much like life, how much down and left they were. So they got very nervous to approach Just Dan. Just my recollection, what's the other character's name? Oh, uh, I know Tomica, or... yeah, yeah, oh, Kuroko, Kuroko, yeah. Quintel chick. You know what's funny about that? It, it's what? Uh, the anime Kuroko no Basket. It's gonna make me. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I know she's from Rail Gun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And there gets the uh, confirmed. This is the the girl 5s. I love this character song. <laughs> Who? Tomoko? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's funny. I mean, Tomoko, yeah, Tomoko's a, a fan favorite because all her like special moves are very flashy, and they look very cool on screen. But LeBron before LeBron. 
Yeah, exactly, yeah. She was literally like the like only representative of a fighting game character actually just playing basketball. Yeah. And there Dan gets a trump and he completely kills Kiyomi and just eating that 30% raw and just dying for it. Pretty cleanly too. Like I pretty sure he had like there was never a moment he was he was really Yeah no. But... Yeah, I'm trying to be impartial here, I can't say that. <laughs> I know, no, but you're being, no, but you're right. Being rude about it. Yeah, no, you're not, you're true. <laughs> Again, it's like what? My second time commentating, so I was like. Oh, yeah, Gucci, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to catch my bearings here. I'm gonna get there with JC. Don't need a 5 and being working. Danjo tried to fire a blast and then, you know, got it off, so it gets the meeting to play with. Umbrella seems I oh, we have uh, Koroko in her potential now. Uh, when you see those teleports on screen, is that she was able... The way it works is pretty much if she hits you or if you block uh, the projectile, she is able to just uh, teleport now on screen and just makes her cover ground uh, a lot faster. Yeah, character potential. Yeah, potential. Yeah. Okay, Omi, they're trying to snipe Dan in the air, but he's just getting completely denied. Oh. He ain't really? called out for it. A fire beast. Oh, oh and they are both willing to spend both their turns around one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two. I mean, like, honestly, when sometimes when you play, it's kind of like the flow of the match. If you're both just like being like, yes, fuck it, I'm just gonna yeah, yeah, <laughs> do yeah. anything. You're showing that you're willing to do it too. Oh, that's JC, right? I'm not crazy. Umbrella. What button? Where she like hits you with the umbrella? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is JC. Okay. Really huge, like disjointed normal. Oh, okay, we got Rambu. Gets a better OK off of this compared to the Climax Super. Goes in her teammates. Why I do that too? Yeah, I know. I noticed that in the match. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, able to come off the ice basket. The ice basket. I guess Climax Super does do a decent amount of damage. Uh, one more hurt should do it. Should build enough bar. Yep. That's it. Oh, no bar necessary. When she's dribbling. No, 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 uh, the, uh, Pokemon. Tell When she's, like, jumping up in the air and, like, hitting her fans, or, like... No, 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 I didn't know that... Wrong character. Okay. Uh, the Railgun Girl. Oh, okay, okay. Koroko, Koroko. When Koroko. she, like, jumped up, did, like, an axe hick or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was 2 AB, yeah. Okay. And Kiyomi, uh, gets knocked out. Dan takes it pretty cleanly, 2-0. Uh, 2-0, uh, Milkman Dan. Okay. Yeah. The darkest of darks. Okay. Again, Brandon, you want to put the mic literally under your chin. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not No, I know, I know. That, dude, that's, I got haze for it too. I was literally like this. Yeah, and Usually with a everything. microphone, you don't think to put it literally right no. to your face. I mean, luckily I have a thing on my bob, a mask, so it doesn't... Yeah, yeah. So it's not a big deal. Honestly, without a mask, I'll feel awkward as hell, like, actually doing this. <laughs> He's right here. Right here in commentating. Dad bod? What? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because freaking that pool got called dad bod. I, I, I did. For the TO. <laughs> I was confused. Whatever that means, but it's fine. I think my body went. Oh, if you want, if you need to head out, go ahead. I mean, no, I, I would have to do this before going to multiverse. Otherwise, I DQ. Oh, are you still in bracket for them? Yeah, I haven't. Mine pulled on circle eight. I oh, got you. What do you think of that game, anyways? Very fun. Really? Very, very fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, for I, me, it just feels really floaty. So it's a, I don't know. It's like off floaty. Um, are you playing one v ones or doubles? Uh, one v ones. I guess one, that's the one issue. One v ones is ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that right now. It is very like floaty and dodgy and yeah, annoying. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, you just like uh camp till you get your cooldowns. Oh, I'm up. okay. I'm up on stream. All right. Good luck. You're gonna folks. hear uh, Dadpool's voice instead of mine for now. Yes. Where I don't know most of the characters' names, but I will do my best regardless. I know where they're from. I just don't know their names. Watch too much. Play too many different fighting games. But hello. I play Genshin too, Milkman Dan. I think that was Dark the Dark. I said that. Might have been somebody else. I did my dailies last night when we went for ramen. On my phone, which by the way, Genshin Mobile's ass. 
Okay. Do you still play Genshin? <laughs> I, I do too. I, I literally had to uh, sign in on my phone, which phone is ass, at 2 a.m. yesterday when we we're at uh, we we're eating ramen. And I'm like, I gotta do my daily so I don't forget yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I haven't signed on in like four days, so I'm like, ah, oh, oh, forget it. I, I haven't missed one since the big or the. Uh, I entered your stream and you got you were, you died by slimes. Oh my god! You were just AFK, and I was I was hyping up these slimes killing yeah. you. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, this game looks really pretty. I'm gonna try it, and I tried it like the next day because it took forever to download it. Yeah, yeah, it's huge install. Yeah. And then, yeah, that was my journey. We got G. Oh, I would have fought Roach if I won. That's crazy. I know, right? I, I would have fought Jun if I win. Jing if I won. Dang it. That, does that mean I play you and losers? Say what? Oh, yeah, I do play you. Okay. SoCal killing each other. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. I don't mind. Oh, yeah, we got Roach who plays uh, Tatsuya. Tatsuya, man. Roach has leveled up, really, in the past two years. This guy, oh. man, he's been practicing. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's good. I mean, and he also plays a fairly broken setup, which is good. Yeah, Lucian. Hey, Lucian plus Tatsuya is super annoying to do with. Super annoying, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and he also plays one of those characters that, like, because this game is hard to anti air, generally speaking. Yeah, it's And the really, fact yeah. that he has a tracker that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of the few characters that can actually, like, somewhat deal with jumping to a higher degree. Very stable character. I apologize. <laughs> All right. And also, yeah, the blue burst coming in a. All right, blue burst, sorry, blue trump. Yeah, Kuroch has mastered the trump Ronbu, man. It's no. like the press the I win button. Hey, it's it's definitely like a pause on the screen and like, did it happen or did it work? Yeah, exactly. It's like, did it happen? All right, it happened. All right, man, love you, Ronbu. It's, it's literally why it's superior to Red Trump. Uh, Red Trump, you can get grabbed, it could be baited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is a DP, but like. Blue burst. It, it, I see blue yeah, burst. It, Trump is also it, you can also get grabbed out of it. That's that's the yeah. big thing that really just gets me. There's an option select for it too, I think, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, which is why I wasn't trying to trump or when I play a Jing, I wasn't trying to trump on wake up ever. Yeah, because I, I I know Austin is like shark for that shit. Yeah, yeah, trump on wake up, dangerous man. Your yeah. your your opponent has to be like not paying attention. I, I definitely try to do it in like weird neutral situations. <laughs> Uh, it didn't work out, but you know. Oh, nice! Wow, see right there, wake up on Trump. Yeah, what? Uh, what happens? It's a miracle. Wow, Roach here, man, taking him, taking a round. Yeah. Exactly, what we're talking about. He did the, he did the, uh, he did the tech throw. Run, run, wake up, Trump. Um, Jing really likes the round start call of the food. Yep. Pretty low commitment. Wow, the tick throw, very nice. Should have powered first. I right, into it. A little nice OK. Oh, uh, Rose getting caught by the 4 AB. Really true. And it's like pretty safe. Too. Nice. Wow. Completely it, goes through the uh, area. Yeah, does it um, not count as you being there because it's an animation? Is that like a Tatsuya specific thing? I'm very confused. Oh, oh, nice. Wow. Cancel. Off the clash. That was a good clash. All the girls she needs to eat. Oh, there it is. I imagine they get player. Roach has more meter, though. Uh, I, would you go player here? I think I would go player. Okay, he went block. That's safer. I'm greedy. I'm like super greedy with player. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, oh nice. I want a refund. Wow, he gets punished for it too. He read it. I think if he just did like, I don't know. Wow. Nice. 
Blue Trump coming in handy so damn well. And it's like reversing this pressure. Asuna was actually just controlling the set, but... Well, I tried to go for the 2C. <laughs> the Lucy would fall over. <laughs> Baby, what's the... Nice catch. Don't cash out, don't cash out, don't cash out. like one or two more hits in it. Wow, there goes the escape blast. I think Roach is in trouble. Confirm up the 2A. Thing has to play this carefully. Oh, there it is. I was a 3 out of 5 in winners finals. No, no, I was just asking like I had it. It's only finals again. Cal calm down, Abby. Calm down. Calm down. Alright. Next game. Brown started assists like, I want to say 80% of the rounds I've seen. I was a little upset when we both round start did it. I did it out of spite. And uh, then he like smacked mine for it. I'm like, damn. Yeah, you're man. Right, dog. That sucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gets the wow. Oh, he did smack the thing, but I think it goes away. Oh, good grab. Wow, that was really good. Set up. Did he fly? So he was questionable. There was only nine seconds on the clock. Wow, he finished it without using any meter either. I think he either wanted to blast there or uh, just was not paying attention to the clock to right. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I'm like slowly drifting it away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I imagine the next hit he's gonna do blast. Uh, nice third attack. There it is. And grab and do. Wake up, grab. And then Buddy Lucian. Nice. Knocks him down. I need you to cash out on some of that butter, bro. Like, it's nice that you're getting these, like, little hits, but, like, you have blast and you have four bars. Yeah, you gotta use it. Both players gotta use it. Yeah. We'll miss the trump. Oh, nice. Please wow. just kill. If you don't kill Roach, I'm disowning you as a friend. Ah. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Especially after getting the confirm on the 2AB with the clash. Yeah. Uh, he has, like, enough time to recognize that, like, yeah. the different... Yeah, that. exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, Jing is sitting on a full five sticks and two trumps. Okay. UAB, no first. Oh, plus, yeah, that's smart. UAB, he's getting a lot of these. Yeah, getting a lot of these. Did he catch the four AB? I'm not sure what I saw. Oh. Uh, oh? That had to be a missing, but. Don't get grabbed. Nice. Oh, oh nice. Tricky, tricky. Yeah. Oh, I think he's getting a little, uh, yeah. a little on edge. Even if he got hit, wouldn't he have still been punished for it? 
What the fuse? Okay, this grab tax. Nobody's been grabbed yet. Wow. He's gonna wake up blue. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, he had it there. Oh wow. Rip steak from my man Roach. It is what it is. It is what it is. And Jing takes it 2 0. Oh, those are really close games, though. Yeah, no, that was actually what, both game three or round three. Did Abby ever show up or no? No, no. A Abby. A okay, Abby never showed up because Abby, he, has, he, he says he has an excuse. He's man, man spent two grand on gotcha games. That's why he can't come, right? Or is that right, Abby? It sounds like somebody else I know. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. hey well, man. you showed up. You showed up. You showed I, up. I showed up, man. Uh, I showed up and I brought all my stuff. Uh, oh. <laughs> it was close, guys, man. All right. I'll, I'll, leave it, I'll give it back to Roach and Dadpool. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I will say I called out some of your stuff before you did it. It was pretty funny. <laughs> I called some of your stuff before you did it. It was kind of funny. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, oh, one thing you weren't doing, uh, you weren't using your meter when you had like a bunch of cash and burrs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So my big, my biggest thing is you were using meter maybe when you shouldn't have, and then when you had a fuck ton, you weren't using it at all. It's like your office. You're doing the opposite. You're being like. Uh, a slut with your meter when you have like one or two dollars but when you had the whole thing you're being like no strip comes for me I, I, I don't know what else to say I, 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 maybe the wrong expression but <laughs> uh, uh, but it was still a good set nevertheless a blue jump really good <laughs> uh, uh. and you're also man, your two ABs are also on point the clashes no uh. Mm. Yeah, it feels nice uh, when you, when you react to clash. Yeah. Possibly the most privileged character in the game. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, my partner is calling Sorry, out there. Right. Is a uh, Luna, Luna, the guy we've played with before in the Discord call, or is he a different person? Yes, I, I, he, he, he played the same character. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, the, in the blue? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's probably him. Cool beans, cool beans. Man, do one more. Got a knockdown and everything. Uh, Our house. It's the oh, fact yeah. that her blue trump gives her three jumps. And on top of that. Oh, he doubled down, too. Yeah, exactly. He can double down. And on top of that, he also is able to cancel out of anything. Doesn't matter what it is. EX cancel, obviously, except, you know, Climax or Rambo. That would be ridiculously broken. But she, out of the hands, special moves, special moves, ain't normal. She can cancel out of it. And she gets some really damaging rounds because of it. The trash can. No, you wasted oh. it. Oh, oh but baits out the blast oh, and wait, actually gets the. Uh, actually punishing for it. Because the thing with that move, the 2 6 is like completely disjointed. And it has a vacuum effect. So good on. Uh, Luna for just punishing the power of blast with that special move. 
Oh, he kind of enhances it a little bit. Increases the timing on it. Makes it a little bit tricky. Sorry, I'm looking for my multiverse part there. Either hits with 226. The corner. Uh -huh. Potentially just power up blasts on wake up. Gets some meter. Well, actually, he was only on full meter, but he just wanted to get off me to end the re health regeneration. Yeah, I like the patience from uh, Luna. Yeah, Luna very patient. Okay. Gets oh, this is up for the extra damage. Yeah, this is definitely going to do a lot of damage here. Yeah. I think, oh, well, I mean, it's still, regardless, it hits LDG and still did a good amount of life. Oh, that should have been dead there. He tried to confirm it to success. No. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure he could have. Oh, yeah, that yeah. too. Oh, into that, into the <laughs> Meals on Wheels, bro. Yeah, Meals on Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> that food delivery service uh, on point in this game. DoorDash. <laughs> yeah, oh, actual DoorDash dude. just coming in. Where the frick? This is multiverse by this. Neji here is switching to Austin instead, ops out. Uh, Neji does know how to play Austin, huh? He has played her a lot in the past. Actually, was, her, uh, was his main at one point. I hope he's played her a bit today, because, like, yeah. walking into a character is... Right, for sure, yeah. Unless he's been, like, mad grinding the game, then obviously he's yeah. gonna be able to do whatever. I know for a fact he has been playing against uh, Tamaki, like, leading mm -hmm. up to this. So he probably most likely has SWAT in like on and off with Asuna with and Yuki at the same time. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it's like not completely like uncharted waters. Oh. But if yeah, even then, if, like if he hasn't played the character at all today, it's, it's right, right, yeah, it is for sure. If this is this far into the bracket. It's like, it might be crusty, but it's looking really good. I, I like despite what I'm saying. Oh, he escaped by Zero Luna uh, because he knew he was gonna die for it, and. When you're down, uh, life is bad. It doesn't matter because you can just ignite it if you lose. But then up to a nice blast. It's a two two six. Oh, it doesn't pick up from that combo. Oh, Jesus it just Christ. randomly more trumps, and that's thirty percent of your life just gone. Yeah, into the setup. Into yeah, the into knockdown. just on down. Into like corner can literally like run them to the corner. <laughs> But Luna also a retro move zone. Escape by Stare? I don't think he was dead. I could be wrong. I, I think he still wants to be at like a two hit death. Right, right, right. As right. opposed to a one hit. Oh, and he has Beast! Oh, nice reaction! Rombus will impulse through yeah. that red trump and completely punishing Luna for he it. He has more than enough meter to go by, yeah. which is, makes sense to do. I guess the throw did. there. So now it is 1 1. Both Luna and Sutenchi. Equal on points here in this set. Uh, Taiga definitely has to try a, a bit, uh, a lot harder in this match. Well, not a lot harder. In general, she has to try hard against Yuki yeah. and Asuna, but it's still a bad matchup uh, for her regardless of my main point. It's also going from like a rush down character to a control. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. Making me play more honest. 260 on block. Uh, plus block it. Alright, nice confirm. Hard. Oh, just a combo there. Doesn't matter, it gets uh, hits 2A with uh, Sotenji trying to dash channel. Gets the uh, Ogi play. Oh, <laughs> cross up break! Cross up break, actually, he could have killed there. He actually was dead. Did that actually cross up break? Or? Yeah, no, he did, yeah. He, uh, he's been practicing that, I know. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay. I don't know what the rules are yet. Yeah, uh, it's like, pretty much, if you have a if you syscall on play one side, and then if you quickly jump over, then I'll like, it'll be this weird thing where like, the game tr is tracking you on like, P2, like the player character on P2 side, mm -hmm. but initial assist call was on P1 side, so at least it's like the game kind of well, recognizes the. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, I'm hypothesizing. I'm assuming that's what it is. Okay, I I'm just gonna believe you. <laughs> this is head cannon. What up? Uh, uh, this is it. a two out of three, so needs to do something. <laughs> I know, I know that isn't much. <laughs> it's fine. It was very insightful for me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> My small brain. That was, that was really good. It's grab there. Focus at me. Oh, hits him with the... Okay, so Luna likes to do this thing where if you're trying to grab bait him, he does his like OS or whatever where he actually holds down the 5C button. Mm -hmm. And it, it's big enough where it'll catch you trying to actually draw bait him. So you'll hit, you'll hit the opponent. That's what happened there. 
And right now, both of them just navigating neutral, super jumping. And dashing back. Oh, it gets to confirm here. Combo boss is... This shouldn't... It's not dead. I don't think it's dead. It just leads to a one touch an hour here. He drops the combo anyways. Oh, no. He tried to randomly red trump. Gage. This could be a one hit because he does a blast. I don't know. Uh, possibly, yeah. yeah. But also it's still kind of on the low damage and, side of characters. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It holds all that. Oh. 2 6 hard knockdown. Okazemi. Luna tried to gamble on a rumble, oh, but doesn't matter. Yeah, full screen. Even also can Oh. oh. JB, but it kicked us right away so he can live. Thunder with a good self aware uh, awareness there. Oh, he oh, gets hit with the, the red trap from earlier. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, bad. Wait, it's not 2 1, is it? No, it's 2 1. Oh, it's 2 1? Okay. Yeah, it's 2 1 there for Tenchi. 2 1 is Tenchi and uh, 1. Yeah. Uh, is it me and um, Dark and Dark? Please. Is it? I don't know. Uh, is it uh, Deadpool up next with Darken? Okay, yeah. Good luck, bro. Oh, uh, well, I just realized us West Coast, uh, us West Coast homies are taking each other out right now. <laughs> yeah, we do exist. We're out here playing poverty games. Yeah, but West Coast, West Coast. Yeah, there you go. But now we have a. Uh, sadly, some friendly fire is gonna happen here. Both West Coast players playing each other in bracket. It's fine. 749. 749. Oh, 750, whatever, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're still, wearing, uh, you're still uh, waiting for your multiverses, right? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, at least he's not. Yeah, okay, yeah. Technically, he's not in the other side. Yeah, you're right. It is halfway. We're gonna have that pool. Yeah, it's like Dan. Remember, they're both in loser side right now. So whoever takes it over the other is that's it for them. Tournament complete is over. Again, I want to read it. It's really good to see just like a lot of people uh, hopping on DFCI for this side tourney. I mean, it definitely surprised me. I didn't expect a lot of people to show up, but they did. And it's like really cool to see Jin, all uh, people, you know, really good JP player. Who actually played this game a lot. Uh, just show up and just, uh, you know, play around with uh, NA folks. <laughs> A Deadpool, yeah. Get banned slash Deadpool your energy. Well, I don't think that Deadpool necessarily needs it. I feel like he is his own hype squad, to be honest. I feel like he has enough... <laughs> enough energy for like 50 people. Tomago Shizu is a very interesting matchup. Because you would expect the taller character with the bigger normals and the somewhat, you know, small character with supposedly stubby normals to have disadvantage here, but no, that's not the case at all. Tomoka actually has better frame data and better buttons than Shizuo, so it's... Shizuo actually struggles against this little gremlin of a character. Deadpool there trying to 2AB there with a the setup, but it doesn't matter because dark way far away for that to even take a, uh, to be effective. They see the place there. The matter gets hit, so the uh, plate's not coming down. QB there to the 5C. Deadpool blocks. Ooh, hey, counter poke there. Oh, runs up command grab. Oh, misses the uh, follow up there with the EX uh, cancel. Deadpool there, yeah. Char uh, JC, fully charged. It's a JB. Tries to reset there with 5C, fully charged for some reason. There's a really dangerous with Dark and Dark. Dark and Dark forgets that. That's air unblockable, gets hit. Gets a ton of damage for it. Now Deadpool on status 3. 18% more damage and 18% uh, uh, defense increase. But Dark here gets uh, Rambu. At least a really good Okazemi for him. 
Oh, the iceberg is gonna hit. Oh, Deadpool managed to escape us, and for some reason the fireball's actually a lifter. Doesn't matter. Error exchange. JC. Uh, Deadpool loses. Dan now up around. Oh, Deadpool just runs up 5A. JC hit a ground. Plus frames on plus frames. Deadpool realizes he can kind of put there, so he two A's. Runs up command grab again, works. Rambo's here. Trying to get that uh, blast back again. That's 30% uh, back with Rambo. Since uh, Deadpool used escape blast, so it takes a while for it to recharge. Oh, JC there. Air to air. Doesn't lead to anything. Oh, but Fire Bus is there. Uh, I don't necessarily know why he gets full bar. I guess he just wanted the health regen. And I mean, it works out dividends for, for Dark. He's pretty much almost at full life. Dark gets to confirm into uh, Rambu Super. Kuroki's in again. Oh, freaking Deadpool 2 AB, but it doesn't matter because Ice Bucket is still out and active. <laughs> it's killed for it. That was uh, definitely an NA exchange if I ever seen one. <laughs> so we have here Dan up around now. 1 0. See if Apple can pull back here. Again, it's a. Uh, oh, 5 AB there, but I'm pretty sure he tried to hit confirm there, but didn't, so it led to him doing it in a block. But he kind of there so he can be safe. Air to air, dive pick leads to nothing, so it does a hard knockdown. Oh, and their power up blasting, the, but then they get punished for it. Not getting a sufficient amount near your back. Calls in, it's, oh, runs up command grab once again, it works. He gets canceled, we get a hard knockdown, calls by area. Just so we can get that plate off. Oh, hits plate. Oh, two C's, because Dark was blocking high. 5 B. Doesn't get to hit up plate here. Coco 6 S call, but it doesn't matter. She got the uh, food bowl off, so. That will hang that uh, status effect on. It should be dead here. The climax super, and that's it. That pull now up around against Dan. I be there. It's uh, the Clown Doker to continue the combo. <laughs> Ice bucket there. They continue the combo. And now he's gonna. Do a three pointer here, do a decent amount of damage. Ice bucket, Deadpool has a block. Oh, Deadpool tried to retaliate with 4 AB, but Dan just runs under and punishes for it. Power up blast there, knowing because Dan's gonna force take hit a button. So he gets like full advantage of that meter gain. Oh, Irie calls in Irie there. Oh, girl. Oh, 2A there, gets a combo blast, so he can get a better combo for this, more damage. Oh, but obviously not spend any more meter, just like, just end the combo there, prematurely. Oh, I guess clip with that 2B, and that is the round for Dan. Again, you expect somebody like Shizuo, tall character has like, long limbs to have a normal like that, but no, it's, it's dedicated to the shortest character in the game. Oh, Deadpool did try to bang her really with, oh. It's off the EX projectile. Play lands, plus frames. Oh, but nice push like there by Dan, forcing Deadpool to whiff uh, his uh, incoming normal and punish him for it. Gets a combo off of it. They see there already kind of sort of combo. Oh, Dan there got the two way confirmed, but I guess he, I don't know, missed input maybe of uh, holding up. Hello, oh, Zan Miguel. Two ZBs, but all the clashes all oh, Deadpool managed to react, but for some reason. That pull there actually with a good reaction. Actually, the reason why that didn't work is just since uh, that was Climax Super, it has no inbolt on startup. So he got punished for it. But uh, that was to take advantage of there of the third plate. 5 B's on block. Use the combo blast there, resource so he can be plus. Oh, dice kick! But Dan doesn't kill! Got a randomly trump there so he can finish it off. Next projectile. And on the offensive for AB's, Deadpool reacts with combo blast and he gets it off! He hits a 5A! <laughs> Wait, you said you just mashed it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you... Did you slap your controller? 
Okay. So technically... That pull, super famous, getting a call. Mother bracket runners. Because he is too good at video games and he advanced very far in uh, another game. Yeah, but yeah, that pull, what happened there was like, I guess he technically reacted, but he did it was he just slapped his controller and he managed to hit the, the blast button. And, and that that managed to work. He combo buys, he got the kill. A bad pull. Bit. Two A, two A hit and that's two A beef. So I actually don't know what that was supposed to be. But then he hits the four B off. They still full combo here. Got to really, oh my god, nice spacing there from Dan, just like getting barely out of the thumb range there and punished fully with that JC. That will just run a 40B. Uh, and nowhere, I'm assuming Tepo was expecting Dan to run in on him and like try to catch him off guard with the with overhead, but it doesn't work out. 2B confirmed there, at least a really good OP once again. But I got power up confirmed, but doesn't get it off. Once again, I don't know why Dan's trying to uh, run the power up. I mean, he has full meter to play with, and he had full health that time too, so he won't actually use it to his advantage in terms of regeneration. Oh, play on the way down, it actually catches down here. And that will get a uh, full combo out of this. Opposite, again, not uh, spend any meter to, you know, get hard knockdown or anything. Just uh, prematurely ends it, trying to save that bar for something else. Rumble's here. But okay, all this double jump here, big jump. Oh, Trump and hits Dan for it. I try to hit the 4AB overhead, but that board tally is a red Trump, 30% life gone, and hits 6S. And 6S comes from behind of your opponent, not forward for some reason, so it catches a lot of people off guard. Get a ground there, that will try to take advantage of like a little. Oh, JC there. Man grab. Home buses once again. So I to get to extend as much damage as possible. The hard knockdown here. Plus the area. Oh! Trump. They actually trade there for the Trump and the JC. That blading 4AB, on, uh, 5AB on block, but this time instead of combo blast, since he had no blast, he uh, also red Trump so he can keep himself safe. Maybe he catch Dan hitting a button and he'll hit him raw. Oh, unblockable situation here. Runs up from Mangrads and there's nothing you can do there. It's a good amount of damage there and that JC completely clips Dan. That's Dan. That's Deadpool 2 1 over Dan and Dan is badly out of bracket and Deadpool moves on. Deadpool is gonna have to sprint his way to multiverses. But he will be back. Good match though. Good showing from both players. Yeah, that pulled to one, yeah. Sadly, that is a team kill, though. That's the one less West Coast player in bracket, but it is what it is. We have the run back from Maiden Dairy, both Egg and. So I'm just laughing, uh, Dan had a little fumble on the uh, other side of the table, but anyways. There's gonna be a run back here, both Maiden Dairy and Neg both like knock into losers, and Neg is the one that knocked Maiden Dairy into losers. So we're gonna see what Maiden Dairy, in a short amount of time, has done to adjust. Maybe he's able to get the better of Neg this time around. We'll see. Again, Asuna, Asuna, Shana, it's a very... I don't know, like, I, I wouldn't say even. I feel like somebody, somebody clearly has advantage in this matchup, but it's not, let's, let's, let's say it's not too difficult for both characters. They both have plenty of strong options to, to utilize, and it's in terms of normals. Uh, I don't know, bro. Like, I gotta disagree on that, I don't know. Shadow normals are, they're kind of, you know. Kinda nice. 
Oh, here you go. Main Dairy against Seg Joe. Uh, Main Dairy is on the left, by the way. She is playing Asuna, and Seg is on the right with uh, Shauna. Here we go. Name switch. Once again, Main Dairy uses that 5S, the speed of Celti, to get the hard knockdown and just uh, go do the OTG. Seg playing again, like. Why you kind of smile here? Use it like, uh, like up back in, trying to catch me, and trying to overcommit and like counter attack with JC. Main here, it's a two way confirm and leads to hard knockdown. Managed to grab Seg. And uh, on coming down, managed to combo off of Celti as well. A two way poke there from like pretty much B range. One more hit, one more scenario, that's will kill. Literally any single combo with no meter will. Yeah, for Seg. Basically, there. Oh, Seg just 5 e being. Taking the chance on it and it hits, but at least to nothing. Air Dash JC. Playing around the space, trying to catch Maiden, whipping the button and punishing. Hits to Maiden with a 2 way, trying to come in the combo, but Maiden just opposite escape blast, not wanting to. Assuming not be uh, in one touch take scenario. Oh, round about the end, but that gets the combo. This should put him in. No, he shouldn't. No, we actually realized his combo blast. He would have had the. Oh, made him freaking randomly tropes. But no punish, and then Celti six is. Pulls it off. There's a lot going on there at the end of those couple seconds. So both players just wanting the damnness and not lose that round because it was uh, pretty much at the end there. Time we're running out. 5C, uh, 6 is hits, made him most likely whipping the grab there. Current confirm. Nice pick up there. Jokro, this is good in uh, amount of damage. Uh, Seg, uh, opting to spend all his meter there, but it's not too bad because he still has blast on deck, so he can gain that meter pretty back and uh, pretty much just uh, kill Sean on the next combo. Or, sorry, Austin on the next combo. Oh, did you off the ground there? Both of them engaging distance, both of them trying to see who overcommits first and punish them for it. Like really utilizing these like jump forward, just JC trying his best to like maximize their range on that normal. Oh, and like since Maiden picking up on the fact that Seg there was just like up backing uh, mindlessly and then air dashing just, you know, thinking too, like it was going forward. Yeah, wait, yeah. Bro, AK, this fucking, it's a long day. I'm fumbling, bro. Man, I think I've been up since like, uh, yeah, I've been up since 5 in the morning, PST. Nice power bl uh, blast there from Maiden. Realizing Seg is just hitting air normals there. And catches him, hitting a button. Converts into it. Oh, nice 2C punish there. Oh, then again, just hopping around neutral here. Trying to catch any one of them, just whiffing the button and just digging their teeth. Good opportunity. Very confirm. Hard knockdown, air scramble. Oh! Big there on landing, catches uh, Maiden with 2A, but it doesn't matter. Maiden now on the offensive. Oh, they come! Oh, Mini takes it with the the five A in the corner, catching Seg on the way down. Oh, Seg catches Mini catch, uh, running in with two B. At least a nice confirm here. Oh, uh, um, opposite end the combo prematurely. Uh, I'm assuming that was probably a misinput on his end. Not uh, trying to confirm the climax. Again, both of them just like playing around in the air a lot, just like forward, forward jumping and then up backing in the last uh, second. Oh, nice grab there from Maiden. Oh, frame chance was a 4AB. That's the thing with 4AB. If they manage to block the first hit, you can do a, a really, really risky frame chance situation for the delayed the second hit 
as much as possible so you can catch the opponent trying to punish you or take their turn back. And Mane tried to do that again, but it didn't work the second time. Again, Mane just super jumping, up backing, just try trying to see what Sega might do. And retaliation gets Gurren off. Managing to complete. Oh, but Sega doesn't finish the combo. It doesn't matter. It's it with a random projectile. Now it's round three scenario. Oh, sick, they're hitting. Hitting Mane with a 5A. Mane here really showed up for blasting right away as soon as possible. Again, she needs the meter. Oh, nice reactions there from Mane's part. The 30% raw reacting with the clash situation with Red Trump is completely deleting Sex health here. But again, doesn't really have enough resources to finish off Seg in any way. And Seg regaining his, uh, his health back with the Power Out Blast. Grand's making Maiden work extra hard to go for this kill. Again, Asuna doesn't do as much damage as most characters and both of them offer of 4AB, but Seg Diana delayed his his, so he managed to come out top there. Maiden escaped us in there because he knew she was going to die. Oh, once again hitting Seg with the Broad Trump doesn't do the job though. Doing pressure. Both well, again trying to gain distance. Up back and forward jumping. Up back and forward jumping. And once again, Sig hitting with Gurren. Raw Gurren. And taking that round. 1 1. Again, Shauna has, has that option where it seems in, in paper it's like, okay, you shouldn't do this because like, at least if you whiff, you're super punishable and you know, you're pretty much just leaving yourself dead in the water, but it can, it's again, it's really fast activation. Just make it a force to be reckoned with and it can catch anybody trying to come at Shauna. And they're 5 sing power up blaster to get the meter. Blink from into it, same with Seg, trying to power up blasting randomly and neutral safely so he can get the meter as well. And there again. Oh, Sig try to commit to the 4AB there. Gets punished for it. Will be success. Oh, Sig here jumping. Doesn't punish though. So an to Rambu. Just down backs. And both players are gauging distance. The Doku success. Misses. Oh, Sig dashing in, but doesn't do anything. Doesn't do an air normal. Made in just two A's when I'm landing. Both of them just trying to get in with a respective assist here. Controlling space. You get the hard knockout and just rush in and continue pressure. Oh, nice job from Maiden. Catching. Oh! Catching Sega on the air and <laughs> lands and. Pretty much like a pseudo, re pretty much American resets them with uh, Trump there. Hey, nice for B. Nice. Confirms the power boss there. Getting all that meter. Oh, nice AD air. At least a hard knockdown here. OTG. Pushing into A. Did it work? Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully you guys hear Dark here and uh, commentary alongside me. Yeah, I finished my matches, so I'll join on commentary. Okay, for sure. Oh, nice, man. I'm pretty sure... I'm assuming that was a plus 5A. Catches uh, Seg there on landing. And hits him for it. Better ground, made in push blockers. Punishes. Oh. Oh, made in committed with the 4 b there. Yeah, shouldn't have committed. And escape us for it. Yeah. Oh! So we be there. Doesn't do the second follow-up of it. Again, both players just like navigating, just like up forwarding, up backing, trying to gauge distance. Trying to see who commits first and punish him for it. Oh! There nice it there, it's like Super finish. Yeah, that's the round. Wow, match point. This is it. Yeah, and Seg has plenty of resources to play around with. The opposite just double ignite his character because he, yeah. he figured that he has blast. Like, there's no need. To ignite it uh, whatsoever so you can get any blast back. By Vister, at least a hard knockdown. Oh man, just power up blasts in the sex phase knowing that you'll wake up and try to hit a button. So, Virginia just gets all that meter. 
Oh, good dash 2A there. Yeah, oh, once again, mini convenient with a 4B. Wow, big damage combo here. And uh, even with that big damage combo, it just runs up two A's and yeah. Once again, Mayden finding really good success here with these uh, red trumps. Just running up, just red trumping. Like not expecting it. Oh, oh. trying to confirm. Oh, causing Dokoro again. This is, oh man, Mayden takes it with a 5A. Nice. Nice, nice. work from Mayden Derry. Avenging her previous loss and knocking out Seg in the process. But man, what a wild uh, last few seconds in that round. Again, Dokoro has a special function. If you have two bars and if you're in hard knockdown state, what you can do so you can get your opponent off of you is you just hold down 5S and Dokoro does or freaking whatever she does it just slams the freaking bat across the screen just like back and forth, back and forth, hitting anything in his distance, doing a lot of good damage to both uh, okay. players. But... That a gamble didn't manage to work out, and Mayden takes it anyways. Nice shot from Mayden, though. Moving on. Surviving. Fighting in his loser's bracket. Right now, we're in brief intermission here. Waiting on... Uh, are we waiting on Deadpool to come back? Or? Uh, we, are, we are either getting Deadpool. Yeah, we're just waiting around here. We're nearing the end of uh, this uh, DFCI bracket. A lot of very wild matches today. A lot of very uh, just wild exchanges being thrown around. Right, here's how the bracket is looking at. Uh, it's going to be Luna against Dadpool and loses quarters. And then Maiden moving on to fight me and loses quarters because I got knocked out by Jin. And uh, winner semis 2-0. And for winner's finals, it's going to be Jin and Sutenshi. But yeah, I mean, this bracket is looking up to be nicely here. Uh, uh, it's no, there's no surprise that the people that who made it this far are, actually know how to play the game. Uh, let's try to organize the bracket. or well, not organize the bracket here, but we're trying to see who's going to go out first. You can't be saying that kind of stuff in commentary. I don't know. Like, and this is like, like, officially, I would say, my first time commentating. Am I up? Yep. Okay. I'm going to be on stream. So, I'm assuming Dan's going to take over. I'm not sure, but either way, I'll be off. All right. Good evening, everybody. It is currently 8.18 p.m. We are almost done with this uh, top eight for Dengeki Bunko. Coming up next, we have Crippled Roach versus Maiden. This is loser's quarterfinals, and they will go on to fight either Lunar or Dadpool. And this entire bracket has been wild. Look at all the number of two ones, two ones. Only one, two, zero. And each of them have been like round three. These have been really good matches. Long matches. I thought we'd be over by now, but man, I completely miscalculated how, uh, how top eight usually goes. All of these three game matches. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did Roach really say that? Anyone here who hasn't made it at least this far is a garbage player with no potential or desire for growth? What? No. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. We got the VODs, guys. We got the VODs. We can go back and double check. You know what we need, guys? You know what we need in rollback? We need a lobby system so we can play like we used to do in PS4. Don't you guys remember the good old days? Imagine if we had that, but with rollback. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, I think it's flipped. Is it flipped? No, it's not flipped. Nah, I love pasting my IP. I know, right? Okay. 
Uh, it's wait, hang on. I got it. Don't worry about it. I got the name. Uh, the Trump Ronbu. This is the classic move. It's so good. Gotta be careful of that and hitting the uh the hitting the goblins away. You gotta make sure you don't get clipped by a projectile. Roach takes the first round here. Ooh, nice throw. Using those Celti frames. Man, Roach has leveled up a ton. He's a lot cleaner with Tatsuya. Doesn't drop? Well, okay. As soon as I say that, he drops. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, nice. Forcing Roach to use his escape blast. He does have his select on, on his uh, his blasts, though, so he recovers a little bit better. Ooh, trying to catch with the... Ooh. Roach taking the first match. Yeah, man, anime back then with Dokoro, wild. Some wild stories. Alright, Roach is up. What you gonna do, Maiden? You gotta turn this around. You gotta put Roach in his place, man. This guy. Disrespecting players. Oh, not getting caught. Wow. There it is again, guys. The Trump Rondo. At least once, every single match. Hey, what's good, Never Tipsy? Oh, nice 2A. Running up for the confirm. Whoa, see? Yeah, Roach tried to take advantage of uh, the active frames hitting the, uh, the goblins away. Oh, Roach won't be fooled by the 4 AB. Not yet, not this time. Nice catch with the combo blast. Into the super. It's not going to kill, though. 
Definitely not going to kill. Oh, wow. All right, Roach is one round away from uh, yeah, one round away from winning his uh, his match. Maiden's got to reverse all kill at this point. She's got to win two matches and win the next one. So four games in a row without letting Roach drop a uh, without Roach letting uh, letting him win a single one. You cannot drop a single round. Nerves of steel. Let's see if she can do it. Patience. Uh, I think when I played Roach, I was way too impatient. I was just like jumping forward the whole time. I should have been more patient. Oh, yeah, Roach doesn't commit to the 4AB. Really nice follow up. Oh, everyone can block 4AB, I swear. All these people are so good at it. Oh, Maiden taking advantage. Oh, no full punish. Oh, didn't didn't follow up either on the 4AB. Really good. Good good discipline there. Oh, nice. I love it. The cross under. Oh, really good. I tried to do that on Dadpool. I failed. Man, I'm just rusty. All my games today were horrible. Everything was just like super bad, super rusty. Nice. Well, Maiden does take the round. Maybe she can turn this around. We'll see. Roach is up a trump. Let's see how he uses his resources here. This is important. Both have power blasted. Both have blast select on uh, on power on blast. Uh, I mean, I made it far, but I lost to like people that gave me a run for my money. They were, they were good matches, but. Yeah, I play I play bad. What happens when you play too many gacha games? Oh man, that blast that escape blast again, that's not good. That is not good. Oh that's it. GG's. And the match goes to Roach, 2-1. to one. Actually, just 2-0. Oh. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. Yeah, so the, the small problem we have is we can't find our final All right, people. guys. Right now, uh, we're waiting on Deadpool to come over. This is going to be a little short intermission. Oh no, taking a look at the bracket. Oh, so we're waiting on that pool, so it would be limited against that pool. I just had my match against Maiden Dairy. So I move on. Went to Lose Semis. And then again, Jin and Sutenshi are still scheduled to play in uh, Winter's Finals. So right now we're on the quest to find Deadpool, so hopefully uh, he turns out soon. He he was doing multiverses, he made it pretty far in bracket with a friend of his in 2v2. So that's all we're waiting on, hopefully he turns up. I'm assuming Doug's gonna hop on the, the mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just sitting here looking at the bracket. This is pretty impressive, like uh, all these matches are really good. You yeah, know, again, I'm like, I said this before, but like, uh, I am really uh, happy that a lot of people did show up for DFCI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's really huge. I didn't expect like this many people, especially, again, I said this so many times, but Jin, like, he actually decided to come down yeah, you know, an and play a few matches, which is really cool. Yeah, an actual JP person coming out. Um, I know this year is COVID year. I think our numbers are still about like half of what we had last time, but mm. still, yeah. Still I mean, I still, it's so impressive that like, for, for like the pandemic, you know what I mean? Like yeah, you yeah, expect yeah. those numbers just to like completely plummet. Yeah, yeah. Violin, a lot of people, a really strong showing here. You've been playing real well, Roach. Yeah, what I mean, what, I've been doing it. What do you have to say to you about yourself, man? I don't like doing that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I okay. If I'm being real, I feel like I'm doing okay. 
Uh, there are certain points where I feel like I'm not utilizing my resources that well. Yeah, I mean, I think in tournament play, it's always difficult because, you know, you're on nerves and then there's a lot of, like, you know, stress or, like, you know, you're nervous. And so you always, there's times where you drop something or you get hit by something really stupid or, you know, that, that always happens. But overall, yeah. you're still putting on a really good show. Yeah, it well, really, really shows that yeah. you've, like, matured and, like, gotten... So much better as a player. Yeah. Well, I appreciate those kind words. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like they're not deserving of me, but I still appreciate them nonetheless. Yeah, um, man. It, all this hard work's been paying off. It's good. It's good. You should be proud. Yeah. Well, I mean, mostly I just re I had the truth like shown to me, you know? Like, oh, the <laughs> that's, what, that's what happened. Wait, wait, the truth? What do you mean? What do you mean? The well, truth? Okay, okay, I remember at first, I was like playing Tatsu Rusin, but not really. All right, all right. And eventually I moved on to playing with Iria for a while. Okay. Because that's just she was just like more fun. But then I realized like, I don't want, what makes me happy the most is my opponent not having fun. Oh. So I want to make them suffer. Oh my God. That's how I maximize efficiency for me. You know what? Sure, I'm having fun with like Tatsu, Iria, that's fine. But they're not, my opponents are really suffering. And that what really brings me the most joy as oh a human my, being. Oh my, oh my God, this guy. <laughs> Man, this is why chat said you're, <laughs> you're the worst. What the freak? Okay, first of all, most people. Okay, that that doesn't defend me really, but I feel like some people just have a heavy bias towards me. That's okay. It's fine. I acknowledge those human beings. It's, it's okay. It's fine to have just wrong opinions of a human, like of another person. It's okay. You know what I mean? Like, wow, like wow. we all live on this earth. You know, some people are just you know. Just say nonsense sometimes. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a lot of that, you know? All right, all right. The all right. issue is never me. It's always other people. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got you. I got you. Toxic I am. I'm okay, listen. I say all this in self-defense. This is just preemptive self-defense, all right? Cause I know some people are going to come at me. You know, I have the shadow people always getting at my ear. And besides the shadow people, I have, you know... My actually, like, you know, my 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 friends who I hang out with and talk to who I love, you know, I mean, Tom always chatting my ear too. I always get it from both sides. It's never anywhere I go, it's always just attacking me. So that's what I'm saying. This is 100% justified self-defense. All right, that's all I'm doing. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm just defending myself. That's all it is. You know what? You know what, guys? At least Roach showed up, man. At least yeah, he showed okay. up. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. That's not necessarily fair, cause like. I am. I do live close by. I live in San Diego. Okay. Okay. So the drive here is, you know, convenient. All right. All Again, right. we're still in a pandemic, so I can't yeah, blame Abby yeah, yeah, for yeah. not showing up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? You know, it's it's not like it's free to come out here. You know what I mean? You still there's, there's still. Yeah, still exactly. Yeah. It's really expensive. It's still, it's still got money involved, right? Yeah. You Even still... somebody like me who I think I'm saving in travel costs. No, fuck no. Yeah, It dude. still costs a shit ton of money to get dude, here. Dude, respect, respect, man, respect. Yeah. Well, respect. you know. Anything to play DFCI offline know, always feels good. Yeah, it feels super good, man. I miss it. I know, yeah. Same. Oh, listen, like, obviously we have Roblox, which is awesome. I That's love great. playing on it. But there are some people where Roblox is not enough. Exactly. Their net is just too bad. Thank you, thank you. So it's just like, you, you know what? Oh my god. I just want consistent I just want consistency here, guys, okay? Yes, yes thank you. I just you. want to play in a stable freaking connection, all right? Oh. I'm not I don't want to get in like inside like a boat with a bunch of holes in it. I want like a a, oh, a boat that is, like stays upright. I'm just floating around, you know, just chilling. Oh, I don't want to end up like the Titanic, you know. I don't want to hit an iceberg. I don't want none of that. This man understands. Thank you. <laughs> and some there's some people, man. It's like, oh, we got rollback. It's like, dude, your internet is so bad. Yeah, I know. It, seriously. It doesn't help. It yeah, doesn't help. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't at help. all. It's still bad, man. I don't know what you're that's talking it. about. Sometimes we just have to acknowledge as human beings that not all net is created equal, and that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. But it's also. In my, within my right to not play with you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, you just. Something. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. This guy, this guy gets it. Bro. Okay, well, okay. To be fair, okay, that guy, Ivan Nick. I'm sorry, you're from Spain. You yeah. just got, you got fucked by life. I'm sorry. That's it. Most people <laughs> just got. You know what I mean? Like you can't help where you're born or where you're from, and you unfortunately you you like DFCI, and sadly NA just plays DFCI. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Wait, who plays me in 200 MS? Lynx? I don't... I'm gonna be honest. I'm bad with names. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry gonna, I don't remember you. I'm gonna try to get some matches with Lunar because I didn't get a chance to play with him. Okay, I'm sure, like, yeah. Just yeah, like, yeah. up on the stream then. So right now is gonna be... Reckoning. Bro, Nate, I did not forget about you, okay? I just don't really use Twitter. Well, okay. I do use Twitter, but it's for my... You know, you know me. You follow me. It's for my personal shit. 
personal shit, you know. Yeah, I know you're joking, bro. Yeah, no, I'm playing you to the bit. That's what I'm doing. I'm just playing up for the bit. I know. Bro, you need to start playing more, bro. I swear to God. Listen, not everybody, but it's fine. I'm not gonna brag about it. It's like, you know, it's just it's just me. I'm not gonna like, get into any details either. Because right now, Dan rushing in. I, I, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, yes. Organize the stream here, but there we go. So right now, again, we're in their mission right now. We don't want to DQ anybody out of top eight because that's kind of, you know, that's lame. So we're just going to have a casual set here until uh, Dapple gets back. It's going to be Luna against uh, Dan. Joy. <laughs> Thank you, and I appreciate it. Also, dude, I am trying to take care of myself. It's just that. My god, again, I'm- okay, it's corny as hell, and it's cringe as hell, but I'm literally a gamer, like, I do not- I- I'm not meant for exercising, bro. Alright, I barely do any exercise, so the moment I'm actually have to walk, like, long distances, I'm done. I'm like, it's, it's over for me. There we go, I was gonna say Brago's coming game, but yeah, exactly, no, they fixed that. So again, this is a casual set, you know, just freaking Luna, you know, playing KYH. Hopefully, uh, and Devil gets here soon. And this won't be the rest of the stream. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be honest, guys. I, I wanna eat something, man. Like, I've been here. I didn't expect this to run this long. I'm gonna be real. I'm like, I'm freaking starving. I woke up at 5 in the morning, ate myself like a little breakfast, got to the venue, and like, I am, like, seeing, pretty much seeing Iria on screen, I'm like, I'm literally getting mad jealous. Like, I, it's like torture for me every time I see her on screen, like, eating food. See, it is an intermission. I don't know how much I actually should commentate. You know, but right now I'm just like kind of chillaxing. Cause like like Tama pointed out earlier, man, I was freaking just constantly just not taking any pauses in any of my sentences, like dying, trying to gasp for air. My lungs begging me. Am I doing food runs for you guys? Uh, well, I mean, okay, well. I know Dan, aka Dark and Dark, got some food, but like, I'm assuming that's like friends of his. Also, like, most of the people, I don't know, it's, like, I'm pretty sure staff gets that. And I'm technically staff, but like, I'm just a comment, I don't know, like, I just kind of showed up to be honest. It's almost 6 a.m. here, lol, but these guys worth it. Oh, that's cool, man. I'm glad uh, to see you uh, <laughs> sacrificing your, your uh, sleep for a good old thing I can <laughs> It's always cool just people, just, regardless if you're here or not, it's always just cool seeing people just like enjoying and watching DFCI. It's just always cool to me. It's, there's always like a meme going around, or in general in fighting games, where like, you know, people don't really are honest with how much they enjoy a game. But like, it's just always cool seeing people just interact in general. Trying to around a game that they quote unquote hate or don't hate, who knows. I'm uh, most likely, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a Twitch bot, and I'm pretty sure Dark, I, I, from his history, he mostly up, like, he does upload his stuff to YouTube eventually, so that's probably, it probably is gonna be a VOD slash archive footage of this. So, yeah, no, so, Tedatora, go to work. Like, you don't have to, don't force yourself to be here, man. Like, you're fine. You can catch up on whatever you missed in the VOD format. Good. So. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I let him know. I don't know about that pool, the whole like intermission right now that we're doing. It's all good. You gotta force yourself to watch. Sir. That's true. You know what? Listen, I know I popped off earlier, but at the same time, I can take, you know, I am human. I can take some fall in me, all right? I understand that Tatsurusian is not fun to watch. And it's really BGs to play against, especially. Oh, anyways, uh, okay, intermission over. It's done. No more me rambling and, uh, fucking memeing on mic.
So it's gonna be today's winners finals, if I, right? Winners finals. Yeah. Three out of, okay, so winners finals three out of five set. It's gonna be good old Jin against good old Sutensha. Old heads in their respective right. Wait. Jin's again been around forever. Sutensha has been around forever. So this should be interesting. Watch. Oh, I get he's a zoom over my face for some. Yeah, yeah. Close up. Vortex member, guys. Vortex Valley. That's what. Uh, that's who's supporting everything that's happening right now. Who has supported many other side tournament games, and they've been again. It's just amazing just having anybody sort of like kind of have brackets being run for these games that you know, like not really a lot of people play or not really in the limelight. So it's just cool. Uh, I'll join you for commentary. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if they're gonna get- Okay, it's button pick right now, so... Buttons. Is this not supposed to say winner's finals? Uh... Oh, yeah, let me do yeah, that. Go ahead and do that. So again, this should be an interesting matchup. Again, again Din. Going with Sana. Uh, Sana. I'm so tired. Going with Asuna. Here we go. And Sutenshi going with uh, Yuki. Right here, Rats. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here? Yeah. Just a little full forward, yeah. All right, here we go. So there'll be Match Jin taking that power blast right away. Uh, knowing. Realizing Kerry was gonna run up forward. Probably try to hit something, so he's a friendly power blast there. Punishes Sutenshi there for that uh, whip power blast. But doesn't really need too much. Push back there to get some distance. And right now, kind of feeling each other out right now. Kind of yeah. gauging each other's, like, you know, a like little. See what buttons they press in neutral. I think it gets a nice confirm there, 5, uh, 5C. Oh. Their play uh, gets clipped by the 2 B. I I think that was. And Trump's. But it was very unorthodox, so he doesn't get the combo from it. Agenda. Oh, nice. Very success. Oh, gets clipped with the 2A. Yeah. Has to escape us there, so we would have died. Got to run up, grab. Gen text. Nice. Yeah, really good throw attack there. Oh, and 2B anti here. Yeah, that button is like really good for us. So Asana. good for us. Really good confirm on that, too. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. It's like, it's an amazing button. Nice reaction from Jin there to anti here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Genjin just applying pressure, just kind of like safely uh, in the distance to throw out his normals. So Sutenshi can't punish him for it, but doesn't matter here. He's now being comboed, leading to Koroneko. Pedal call. Oh, oh tries to B. Yeah, nice. And here, just Ooh. up in the block. Nice throw tech. Oh, two ABs there. Oh, oh whiz. Dropped. But it's fine. Jump cuts it out of it. And Trump saved, so it's not too terrible. Yeah, not too bad. And again, just up. That JC, man. That JC is so good. It is. Two AB again. It wow. works out for Sutenshi. Oh. oh, but what's the follow up there? Oh, nice. Hits him with the overhead. Oh, oh, misses coverage in here. Wow, the double drop. That's unheard of. That's with a super here. It's all oh, hits him with 5C wow. and then Jin escape blast. Dude, that combo echo. Oh, 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 it's essentially up there to power blast, thinking that Jin will probably come in a lot closer. And hit him with it, but doesn't. Okay, be there on it, on incoming. Oh, nice grab there, Tenchi. Oh, gets freaking Kami Neko. And the way, again, the way this assist works, Cora, like you see, there's two different versions of her. It's like a 50-50 split where one where you get less pedals, and another where she's in pink dress and you get more. Oh, nice there. And also another function that Cornico uh, has is that 6S where like she puts a hex on the opponent who calls her. 
if the enemy actually hits her. Oh, the throw! Oh, nice drill there. Climax does not not enough to kill here. But it's really dangerous if literally Sinji gets one hit and combos right away, it's dead. Ken's got a long way to go, man. He does, and Austin again, like Dude, Austin doesn't Sutenji's do much basically damage. Basically, almost fall. Oh, Sutenji did try to up to keep himself safe. That was a really good catch. Holy shit! And then punishes that fully, deleting his health. Oh, wow. like what the heck? Pretty much like he made himself low enough to the ground to with the JB. So he can take him with a 2A, but it doesn't matter. Sutenji gets the kill here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's 1-0. Too much of a life lead. <laughs> One person in the crowd yelling this girl's sword art. I mean, it's really it's funny that two out of three sword art characters are just really amazing. Yeah. Well, power up was getting a meter. Oh, nice hit here there, Virgin. Don't leak too much, though. Air blocks Core Neko, post block it so he won't be air unblockable. Oh, nice. Incoming down, JC, but doesn't matter. Oh, Sutenji did a good job there of hitting uh, area from not getting that third ball off. Oh, push block it doesn't really whip punish. Both of them just kind of optimally spaced out their normals. Oh! The guy just attention with the raw trump. Nice grab tech. This should probably... Mm. No, 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 Sutenji's living. But he is last hit scenario. Oh, off to Trump there on wake up. But Jin didn't do anything. Most likely expected it and just kind of waited. I'll try to for you be there. Catch him off guard. AC down. Cousin Corneco. Blocks his success. Out of time. Oh, hits wow. him with 5A. 5A is so fast there. Yeah, so, so fast. fast. Five frames? Five frames. Yes, yeah, five frames, yeah. Same with her 2A. Again, the fastest thing in this game is a four is a four frame throw. Yeah, That's the fastest thing in this whole game. So yeah. having a five frame normal is really good in this game. I think it goes the same thing in Melty. I think uh, five frames in the Melty is really good too. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. On court knuckle here. Oh, same with Leonard too? Okay, same got Leonard, it. Also, yeah. just French bread. Just French it's bread. It's all, all French bread. All French bread. <laughs> all the of power buses. It's what Kamone demands. Kamone's vision. Yeah, it's his vision. <laughs> the climate super there. The charging in. Oh, man, just like completely ran up. And knowing that Sutenji was going to press a button and wake up, just power blasts gets it off. That was a really good catch. No, it was. Yeah, for sure. In here on the back foot. Nice reflection guard. Sutenji trying to optimally space out his normals here. Using that 5C to his max distance. Oh, gets caught there with 5B, but drops the combo by Jin. Oh, Jin! 2AB whiffs completely, and Sutenji takes that round. Very nice. Going into third round now. Sutenji in prime position to make this 2-0. These are the games we deserve. Yeah, I know. Being the UCI played like in a really cool way. <laughs> yeah, hashtag <laughs> TUCI sweeps. Come on, please. You made this game, remember? <laughs> Give it attention. Oh, nice jump castles there from Sutenji, utilizing that well to keep himself safe. Completely blocks the uh, fireworks there. Jin didn't opt to go, uh, uh, go up and throw him. I'll try the fuzzy match there, but uh, Sutenji blocks it. Oh, I tried to catch him with a 4 b but doesn't engage the distance correctly. Whips completely. It's punished with Climax. Oh, coming Echo. Wow, he's getting oh, so many Oh, man. Yeah, he really is. Nice catch. This is a really good situation here for Sutenji. I mean, Jin's sitting a lot of meter though still. Like a lot of meter, both trumps. Like he can definitely still pull this back. Oh, wow. unless it should be that here. Oh, wait. 
If he would have spent Trump on there, might have killed. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe. Then another chance of life here. Again, Jin sitting on so much meter runs up Trump. That's a good use. I mean, he's he's got to use it now or never. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. OJC catches him on incoming with two yeah, feet, using or two his meter. This is literally the last hit scenario for Jin. The Jin literally hits him once. Like, uh, Sutenji's dead. He can combo blast and kill him. Oh, success call. I see there was Sutenji. On the corner, Echo. Oh, I feel like he expected that. He tried to up back and, like, kind of bait that out, but he gets hit by it anyways. Oh, the, the, going down the wire. Three, two. Oh, oh it seems like Sutenji took it. Yes. Oh. He gets him out with the power blast wow. <laughs> and managed to take that round. He utilizes the whole region for the power blast and managed to be up on life to take it. Good work from Sutenji there. A uh, really good use of just trying to beat down the clock by pushing him away. Yeah, really for good. sure. Really good self awareness there, yeah, knowing. Really good self awareness. Oh, Jinder, I managed to get a power blast confirmed there, pl having plenty of meter to play with now. Oh, that, that JC gets been tagging uh, in a lot. But then again, it's such an absurdly big button. Like, I'm not even surprised. Like, it seems like Jin's trying to try to run under, but he's just getting caught every time. Nice throw tech there. Oh, area six. Oh, oh no, managed to land in time, so it won't be air unblockable. Runs a little bit so he can gain, um, so he can push uh, attention oh. in the corner. Again, JC has been. Such a strong thing for Zutenji. Oh, oh completely whiffs though. That's full punish by it. Definitely. Run up to A. Faints back. Oh, 5 AB. Makes himself sick with Trump though. Causing Corrin Echo. Where's Jin still blocked? Jin's blocking all this. Gets hit with the JC. Jin running on the side of the screen. Oh, gets coming Echo. Whoa. Hits him. Oh, this should be dead. Oh no, Jin escaped blast. Jin extending his life here, saving their own oh, runs up to A. This is it. This is it. This is it. Yeah. And one another round for Sue Tension here. Man. Crazy close Sue I know, yeah, it, it is, but like, Sue Tension's blowing my mind now. Yeah, He's I like know. up 2 0 against Jin. And he could end it here. Yeah, he could end it here. It's on match point, essentially. A power up blast. Oh, somehow! Has enough time to hit Jin with. 5A! Then, realizing his max range here, uh, they can both get clip. That's wrong with there. Play. Oh, nice 4AB. Uh, nice 4AB there. Oh, nice power up this yeah, there. Yeah, getting the hit on that too. Yeah, getting the hit, getting life regen, getting that meter. Oh man, Zutenji just wakes up two ways. Did not expect him to get hit by. That puts him in the corner. Side switches. Trying to gauge Jin from trying to press a button. Uh, really patient on Jin. Oh, oh nice. That be, nice. Man. That reaction is so good. That 2B air, anti air. Oh, grabs, grabs him though. Again, Jin back in the corner. Oh, nice grab there from Zutenji. Still not enough to kill. Jill, oh, Jin realizing he's going to die. Escape us right away. Again, this is like Jin sitting on so much like oh Sutenji upset into now oh. oh he gets the power blast nothing, nothing comes from it Sutenji oh success he gets the call oh. and that's dead oh, oh my goodness Sutenji three O's makes it the grand Jin finals makes it a grand and now Jin is put into losers man what a game yeah three O Sutenji yeah that is insane. Tenchi really showing up and just taking it again. It is, man, it isn't. Uh, I have no words. That was insane. That was a really good set. Who would have thought that the Core Nickel pick would, would be so effective? A lot of people argue that Core Nickel isn't really that strong because since you have push block in this game and if you have life deficit, you can pretty much just completely just like push your opponent away to to like not get any pressure going but it managed to work out there for him and he pulled it through 3-0 3-0 definitive 3-0 so good
Man, what a game. But again, Jin, Jin still has the chance to climb back. Yeah, he does. He does have a chance. He, he, and he definitely has the ability to do so. You yeah. know, like, he is such a solid player. Like, this... Are they doing button check? They gotta be. They're not playing uh, this kid, these characters. Yeah, right? no, they're not. They're just button check, guy. Okay. It'll be funny if they were for some reason, but yeah, no. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. definitely button check. So it's gonna be Dabble here against Luna. That was definitely a good match. No, that, that was, was. That was a really solid match. Yeah. I'm glad. A lot to watch in there and then kind of like review and learn. To yeah, see. no, yeah. seriously. Yeah, yeah. there. Man. I couldn't even keep up. Like, what's going <laughs> on here? <laughs> Right now, Dadpool and Luna running a button check here. Again, uh, this should be this this matchup is actually particularly interesting, more so because more so of a player interaction uh, side of things, because Luna really, really hates fighting against Shizuo. Like, really hates fighting against this character. He thinks he's really obnoxious, which. In a way, he's not wrong. He is. But, uh, we'll see how he takes it, uh, how he handles with Deadpool, usual. Because, as you saw earlier in the stream, if anybody tuned in, when he, when Deadpool fought Jin, even though he did lose, he, there was some wild ass decision making in that match that almost gave Deadpool a, a, a whole win over Jin. So we'll see how Luna handles that sort of like very chaotic nature of Deadpool. We are here going into the match now. Deadpool running area assist like usual. Again, this team is really solid for Cecil. It's like one of I don't I wanna say it's the best team for him. Oh, nice two through six uh, punish there. Completely just taking that to the corner now. He's in a good position. Oh, again, there we go. The chaotic nature of Devil. He'll literally, he will wake up with Red Trump. It'll take 30% of your life, and people aren't just ready. People aren't ready for that option. But Devil there, up in the power off there. Oh, it hits him there. Unblockable five B. Luna was still blocking the air. Didn't land in time. Luna, oh, this should be dead. Yeah, the, the burst damage. Yeah, the status effect. Yep. Nice from Luna there. Utilizing his resources as well. Just completely finished off that pool and taking that round. Oh, Luna grabs him out of that situation. Both of them just scaring each other for a minute. Once again, Luna trying to take him corner corner. Oh, nice. A rising JA from Luna. Knowing that was going to come down with JC. And completely hits him for it. Oh, gets the third ball off. Oh, this should be. Is this enough meter build? Yes, it should be dead. Nice from Luna there. That's the thing about Luna, man. Like, like he is such a solid player in anything he plays but like he really uses his resources really well when it comes to this team like he he uses it with full efficiency to kill you if he can kill you he will oh freaking uh frame traps there with combo buzz is uh, yeah i really like seeing these frame traps today a couple people have been doing them yeah they have yeah, yeah. you have too i, I think you, you did it as well a oh, nice pick up there from that pool there's a little lower corner oh Tries to call dad pulls from uh from hitting a, a button there, to hit play, I'm trying to catch up with Red Trump. Oh wow! Wow, that was really what bad. a good conversion there from Luna. Man, carries him all the way to the corner, does big damage. Oh, two EBs there. Oh, Ramos there. Oh, Ramos drew the freaking level three bull. That was a good so he can be saved. Nice, yeah, nice really job good. there from dad pull. Oh, runs up command grabs. It's not dead, but. Able to get that second ball. Off. Again, these solid converges from Luna. This is this will be it. This will be enough to kill. 
Taiga, a certain amount of damage she does. But nonetheless, again, really good combo routing from Luna. Again, he knows exactly what will kill. Future 6 there, gets Bob Slayer to EX. OTG. Oh, grabs him right out of the red trump there. Nice job from Luna. Oh, grabs oh, him again! Drops to the so <laughs> good! Yeah, Luna definitely knows how that pull plays, so he, he kicks back to two trumps in a row and is able to grab him for it. You gotta remember, red trumps are. Well, every, every trump is not. It's striking bolt, but not throwing bolt, so you are able to grab something out of their activation in the, the first frame. Again, Luna. Takes that game. Is that one oh, or two? Oh, you know what? That might be it because it's loser's quarter. So it's only yeah. two. That's out of three, right? Right. Wait. Yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think Luna takes it 2-0. Oh. Luna won 2-0. Yeah. Dang. I'm on? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Roach got has to play his last game, which is loser semis. It's Roach versus Lunar. Yeah, it looks like Dad pulls cleaning up. Man, I gotta get some games with this guy. I gotta learn how to beat Shizu again. I hope you, uh, you guys are all doing well. We're gonna wrap up soon. We are gonna finish up our loser semis, losers finals, and then grand finals. And that will be it for today. Uh, I will keep the stream running as long as the hall will allow me to stay here. So, hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really happy to bring Dengeki to uh, Evo. Uh, this is really uh, kind of like a home game for me. So love the community, love the game. And I hope you guys are having a good one. No, it's not done yet. No, it's not done yet. We have uh, three more sets. Yeah, it looks like they're going to do standard button check. Let's see. Is Roach on the right side? Crippled Roach is on the left. And Lunar on the right. All right. All right. Let's go in again. Uh, you got to cheer for Lunar. Remember what Roach said, right? For those who didn't make it this far, basically they don't care, right? They're not, they're not, they're not, uh, they don't have the, the, the diligence to, to want to practice or grow. What was it? All right, here we go. Here we go. Important games, guys. Important games. All right, I'm missing out on the action here. Let's see what's going on. Wow, the throw through the area. Okay. All right, sorry guys. Wow, both people using escape last here. If Roach does the yoinky spoinky, then I root for him. Wow, Lunar taking the first round. Wow, Lunar opting not to get, not to recharge his meter, but going for the, uh, the character blast select. He's confident in his meter usage. Oh, 
Oh, a combo blast? I'm not sure about that. I am not sure about that. Oh, nice one, Roach. Oh, I don't know about that. I really don't know about that raw, that raw Trump from that far away. I feel like Taiga's like projectile for a Trump is so slow. I mean, most people can see it coming a mile away. Oh, catches with the combo blast and there it goes. Wow. Damn. Sooner knows these these two people are laughing at you guys can see it in the, the player cam there. Lunar takes the first one here. Yeah, he had two bars. He's telling him, man. He's telling him he didn't use his meter. He didn't use his resources. Through two, he did pick a... Uh... Oh, Trump Rondo, look at that guys. Classic, classic, classic. I, I should like I should count the number of times I see this happen. I want an I win button. It's true, he could have gone for full combo, that's right. Went for Rambu instead. Every time I see it happen, it does remind me of Melty and Moondrive. Yeah, Rambu for style. Wow. The face trump right after fireworks. Oh, that double jump, man. Can't change trajectory. Cripple Roach seeing that and uh, going for the 2AB. Oh, getting caught by goblins. Just, 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 just. Oh, nice job. No, Roach. Good job, Roach. Bur burn the time, burn the time, burn the time. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh my god! That's so not fair, man! That, that, oh my god, dude! I cannot believe! Well, Lunar is literally one game, one round away from that. That was, that was, oh my god. T literal time scam! Dude, Roach had it, dude. He knew he was playing the clock. He was just like, I just gotta live! And then chip white damage? Wow. Dude, Lunar knew too. The, these two people, they're playing on another level here. Uh, nice catch. Yeah, Luna studied this matchup. This guy, he's he, uh, man. He he at least prepared. He's gotta. He, he did right. I think we need to put this into VOD review for Roach. Go for it, guys. That's what this is for, man. Guys can look at your matches, analyze, get better. Growth, exactly what Roach was talking about, right? What? No, that, there's no way, dude. There's no way. Why would Lunar do that? There's no way. That was like that was like two miles away. Oh my god, wow. The combo bl oh wow, catches with the four AB. Ah uh, dude, you can see you can see it man. Crucian moment. 
All right, Lunar still on match point for him. Roach has got to win three more rounds to take this home without dropping a single one. Well, actually one more without dropping one. Oh, this is not looking good. Wow, the escape last, not good. But Roach does have five, five sticks of butter. Oh, that's it. Wow, GG, good games. Look, look at these guys hugging it out. Lunar takes it. 2-0, very nice. Looks like Roach finishes in fourth place. And between Tuntenshi, Jin, and the Lunar, one of them, well, some of them will take one, two, and three. Uh, it was Lunar, two, zero, I think. Wow, good games. Don't, don't read chat, they're gonna roast you. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No, you're probably right, they will roast me. <laughs> Dude, Abby was going off, man. That guy, he was, he was wow. Good matches, though. God. That's a thing, like, even though, like, that matchup is, like, heavily favored, me and, like, Luna play so freaking much. Like, we play a lot. He pretty much knows a lot of what I'm going to do and what all, a lot of my bad habits yeah, are. Yeah, it definitely looked like he understood the matchup really well. Yeah. He had a lot of experience. I think, honestly, what it comes down to in that particular moment, well, he does have a lot of experience in the matchup, obviously, by proxy by playing me. Right, right, right. But... I came down to like a player matchup thing. Like, again, we play so much, right, like right. a lot of games. So, yeah, I just you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hold that. I gotta, uh. gotta work. I gotta work on that matchup against Tiger. It's rough, yeah. man. Dude, yeah, that, that one match you got time scammed. Dude, that was fucked up. That okay, was that was okay. To be fair though, all I had to do was literally super jump. Yeah. All I wanted to do was super jump. But in my head, I'm like, nah, dude, I'm just gonna keep on double jumping. Yeah. I'm gonna come down with dive tick. No. Oh, man. Let, let me do the names. So I'm now out of the tournament. Luna still progressing, fighting against Jin. Here. Definitely gonna get some salty commentary. Then I guess Luna see how Luna can do against uh Jin's Austin right here. I want to say Luna doesn't really have much max experience against Austin. Uh, there's not a lot of people that play here in the server, but he's not that unfamiliar. He's just that he's definitely gonna probably get checked by a couple things by Jin, especially uh, the player of the level is Caliber. And I'm saying that Luna's doing a really good job right now, completely shutting down Jin, uh, keeping up in the offensive here. Success. Oh, nice troll take by Luna there. Catching uh, Jin's uh, red trump on startup. It would get him out of it. Right there. Uh, escape blast. Okay, he was going to die. Oh, Luna's still living. Both of them with a 5 frame 2A, so they both cla they both uh, great hits, but Jin taking it there. Oh, we're gonna try to check Jin there. Keep on his toes with that red trump. Oh, hits Luna with that 4AB. It seemed like Luna wanted to throw tag. Predicted a throw tag. I saw the 5C animation there. A 2A mash on wake up there. 
Need pressure, Jin just holding it. JC, air to ground, gets conversion off of this. Looks gonna be a nice push block. 2 d 6. Oh, frame taps into the combo blast. Kuna really loves doing that when he has blast available to keep people uh, on their toes. 2 d 6 here in neutral. It is safe on block. Well, depending on what version you use. Oh, up bags predicted. Luna thinking that he's gonna go for a grab take for grab there, but just up back spates it out. Punish and is dead. One zero gen. Luna gonna carry it out with Tiger there. Oh, nice area there from Luna. Rising JA catches Jin. Look at Zemi, Jin powers up blast. Luna now three plates, but Jin <laughs> managed to hit his play and punishes Luna. So many areas on screen, just a bunch of food being placed. Like a corner. Oh, what's the combo in the corner? Oh, Jin sort of slightly delays is the follow up there with 2 and 4. Catches him. Oh, uh, oh, dark. Update the scoreboard. Jin one. Two C six from uh Tiger there. Oh, manage to oh manage to convert off of that. Take advantage of the level three plate. Didn't escape blasting there, knowing that he was gonna die. Oh, Luna two two sixes again. Oh, Jin just runs up two A, catches him. That's death. Jin now up around. Luna. But, oh, Jin just 4 easy 4 bees there, using the guard point to his advantage. Power right, blasting there, 36. Prompts. Nice grab tech there. Both being patient, engaging distance. Oh, nice 2B anti air. Literally the full extent of reaching. Okay, just 6S. Oh, Luna. Knowing that Jin actually had the read there with the red trump, but he still managed to get caught just because of the way how uh, also launches her uh, launches herself forward. Oh, six is there. Oh, escape plus accidentally. Most likely one in tag Jin running up at him, trying to tag him with power up blast so he can involve through XS call at the same time, but unfortunately gets put into block stun and gets escape blast instead and gets punished for it. Now 2 0. We'll see if Luna can make any sort of adjustments in a short amount of time and try to pull this back. Nice 5B poke there. JC, nice fade back. Oh, that JC. Luna gets corner here. Focus Emmy. Plate, yeah, plate's coming down. Keep him in plus. Yep. That's a 5 gets pushed back by Jin there. Punishes him 2A. Nelson is just so fast with that 2A. So, like her run speed is so ridiculous. Uh, backing, retreating, JC, clips, Luna. Oh, Luna trying to forcefully take back his turn. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure that was fuzzy 5A there from Jin. Clipping Luna there. Oh, Luna trying to fuzzy jump there. Get blasts and is not dead. Text in the air it has invulnerability frames until you hit until you hit a button in, uh, or land. Until you land. Uh, that was really risky there. He could have gotten taken out. Yeah, he could have. Oh, nice block down the 4B. Nice grab tech there. Yeah. Oh, gets the 5B. 5A. Five oh. oh, and 2A clips him there on the way down. <laughs> Lotus. <laughs> maybe, maybe. You never know. Nice 2 6 there. Ramona. A, nice push push from Jin, gauging distance. Or gaining distance, sorry. Auto Lotus. 
Nice of you, uh, the pop on by. Oh, nice! Catches Jin's uh, jump start up with 226. Punishing for it. Oh, nice, wow. Luke! Here we are, Luna with the loops showing off a little bit. Oh, but gets punished there by Red Trom. There's a dangerous situation there. Oh, nice. Block on the 4 b Gets grabbed, anyways. This is gonna hurt. A status 3 on Jin. 18% damage increase. Oh, close to the 2A. Skip us there. Luna knowing he was dead. Oh, yeah, again, catches him with the 2B. Yeah, into the super 2. Yeah, that's it, 3-0. Wow, that's it, 3-0. That's really good. Yeah, Jin. Clean win, too. Really clean. Yeah. Coming back with a vengeance. Wanting to get back at the revenge against uh, Sutenshi here. Well, we'll see. Uh, yeah, he's coming up from losers, though, so he's got to win a lot of games. Yeah, exactly. Six games. Yeah, six, six games. Six games. So we'll see. We'll see how Jin will do. Is it guys? Grand finals. A final two here. Lutenshu originally knocked Jin down into losers. And Jin now climbing back into grands here. But Jin has a again an uphill battle when it comes to being in loser brackets in grand finals. You literally have to win six games. Six freaking games. So you can take it back. While the opponent sitting in winners is kind of relax a little bit or you know has ob obvious advantage with just having to win just three we'll see how this goes go <laughs> we have a couple people here cheering for good old Sutenshi in the crowd again this is our grand finals guys this is it Whoever wins this gets a, if I, I think if I remember correctly, a, a controller, a macro box, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, snap box, yeah. So they're not, you know, they're getting something here. We'll see what happens. We'll see if uh, Jin has adjusted. A nice run up 2A there, gets a confirm, hard knockdown. Okazemi hits the plate there. Plate coming down, still plus. Nice grab there from Jin. Hard knockdown again. Has to respect the fireworks. So has a block. Oh, nice 2B end here. Oh, nice. You're getting the better exchanges now in the air. Positioning down on life, but still has Trump to play with, so it's not completely hopeless here. So has four bars as well. Getting hitting plate again. Oh, man. The minus frames there on the 5C plate. Hatchison and punishing for it. Oh, but Zatenshi trumping here. Oh, drops a combo. Doesn't matter. He can still jump cats out of this. Calls in Koroneko. Give himself plus here. Continue pressure. Nice push flex there from Sutenshi. Has to respect again. Once again, fireworks in display. Play does not come down because Sutenshi managed to hit uh, Jin here. Again, 2AB from Sutenshi. Oh, Kami Neko clips Jin by, by, by his heel. Doesn't matter. Oh, man. Max frame 5C. They're just hitting Sutenshi. Man, also normals, man. These they SEO characters, these sword characters. We should count the number of times that. Uh uh, that Kami Neko comes out. Oh my god, yeah, I'll leave that I'll leave that up to the chat, see how many times Kami Neko actually is being called. How good uh Sutenji's RG is. Jin gets the grab here and confirms into climax starts. Oh man, Sutenji did with a nice fuzzy match there. Now push it in the corner. Gets Kami Neko. Oh, nice grab there. Our knockdown situation. Oh, Jin tried to fuzzy match 5A, but Sutenshi managed to bait that out and punish him for it. Oh, Michael Watts under Sutenshi and hits him with 5A on the other side. Wow. That was really good. And also is able to do that again. She's fast. Her walk speed is like above average. Success there. The Jin keeps plus. Oh, oh wow. what a confirm there. What a confirm. That is dead. That is dead. That status too helping out. Here are 1 0 to Jin. Again, has to win six. Has to win six to take the tournament.
Here we are. Game two. I'm letting the intros rock. Oh, nice power up blister from Jin, knowing Shidenshi was gonna run at him and hit a button and catches him. Shidenshi utilizing that JC, <laughs> just putting a big, just a no zone there. Oh, 2 AB, but Jin blocks oh, it. Like, anti air? Yeah, anti air 5B. He had to hold that, he was stuck there. Oh, catches Jin jumping. Oh, catches him low too. Oh wow, Jin hit with this. Oh man, red trump from there from Jin. 30% gone. Uh, oh, oh Sidenji 2 EVs there. Manages to work, clash scenario, but Jin didn't react. Oh, this should be dead here. Yep. Yeah, nice confirm there from Jin. Pretty sure leading to what? A push block, I'm assuming. Yeah, all right, Jin up around. Right next to the clipping Jin. Oh, both of them just power blasting right at each other's faces. Nice grab there for Zudenchi. Oh, 4 b clip him high. His conversion off of this doesn't get hard knocked on though. Oh man, sword carry. There's both of them hitting a button there, getting clipped. But along normals competing against each other. Oh, nice confirm there from Jen. Gets hard knocked down here. Okazemi, very dangerous. Oh wow, Zudenchi just straight up 2 b took a chance, gambled it. And then Ram would invol through all that. Oh, another 2 AB there. Yeah. This should be dead. Oh, unless. No, it's, it's no. no, Nama is dead. Yep. That is dead. <laughs> Dindas of way more resources, though. Four sticks of water. You are right, yeah. That's true, like, Sinenchi, this thing, he might have won a round, but at what cost? He has nothing to play with right now. Yeah. And he's at the mercy of Jin. I say that, and then Sinenchi... Oh, he dropped there. Oh, man, nice retreating JC there to catch yeah. Sinenchi. And this OTG, oh, so long. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Good That's the Trump OTG. Yeah. Able to <laughs> give an access that long. Yeah, that rebate. Oh, Aaron Blockable then confirm. Some castle there from Sudenji. Man, that JC. Jin really using that effectively now. Really finding his range there. Error. Late coming down. Oh, again, the micro walk. The micro walk under the punish Sutenji from jumping forward there. Wow. And fireworks. Man. 2 0 now. 2 0. Again, again with a vengeance, really. Oh, wanted to demonstrate super, uh, wanted to demonstrate how good he actually oh. is in the game. Oh, what the heck! Austin it seems Austin Amir is yeah. uh, here here uh, opting out to, to play the mirror match. I guess his confidence is very high to pull this off. We'll see how this goes. I think it's possible if he is more comfortable, and then maybe he feels Jin might have figured out his Yuki. I don't yeah, know. maybe. Yeah. Yeah, possibly. Again, guys, this is a grand final. Jin has to win one more game here to reset the bracket and puts the attention to losers. But still a long way to climb, though. Oh, nice! 5C punish there on the power blast. Oh, my God. Oh, but the attention there. Nice job. Grabbing him there. Impulse through that uh, fireworks. Oh, I guess the play Okazami. Play's gonna land. Comes off of it. Gets hard knocked down here. Really bad decision for Sutenji. Oh, just wakes up Mash 2A there. Oh man, nice hit there from Jin. Again, once again, carrying the corner. Wakes up Mash 2A, works out. Nice JC there. Oh, hits oh. him with uh, overhead. A 4 AB, yeah. I knocked on here. Both of them still have Trump on deck. I'm surprised none of them have used it once. Oh, there oh. we go. I say that Sutenji uses it, but Jin blocks it. Aware and punishes him for it. Once again, Jin up around. One more, one more, one more win here for yeah. Jin, and he resets the bracket. Just like that. Oh man, catches like, again, knowing Carrie was gonna run up and hit something. Jin calls him out and power blasts. Whoa! Oh, it gets coming Echo there, so he's completely safe. Yeah. Oh, retreats there, charges it up, come back in. 
Jumping around, posturing. Ah. Oh. oh, nice JB there. Look at again. Oh, oh no. The 4 b clash. Yeah. Oh, gets him with the red trump. 30% life gone. Oh, nice grab there from Satenshi. Yeah. Try to hit him overhead again. Completely negating the... Uh, oh. Tries to catch him with the his own, but Jim blocks it. Gets a grab, converts a super. Try to hit him overhead again. It's not working out, though. It's been consistently blocking this. It's still anyone's game. Yeah, no oh, this, Trump. this, this is it. Yeah, this is it. Oh, this is it. Yeah. That's it. That's a bracket reset. Wow, bracket reset. And just like that, Jin, 3 0. <laughs> Showing that what Sutenji can do, Jin can also match it. Remember, it was originally Sutenji who trio Jin to send him to lose. And now. The race has happened. Now they're both losers. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, is that what happens? Is, is uh, are they both losers or just just a zero or just? Yeah. Oh my thing? God! Stop freaking! I, I don't like talking about that because freaking. Right, I, I know. I know. Pika, in chat, loves like pondering that question. Both are losers. Losers. Yeah, both are losers. <laughs> yeah, both are losers. <laughs> no, they can't both be winners, right? Oh, nice combo here. There's attention picking that up with JC. And again, that's the thing about Kamineko, like, it, even if you do get her, like, if you're down live, you can just push block her and completely just negate her, and the opponent can't really get anything out of that. A carry here. Or knocks down Jin, calls Kamineko again, tries to hit him with the 2 and 4 Nice JC spacing there from Jin, hooks to Tenchi. Tenchi Trier trying to run, both gauging each other's distances here, trying to optimize space. Going for a back. Oh, clips him high. High knock down here. Oh, two weeks up to me. Oh, and Jin reacts to the clash scenario and hits Red Trump. Oh, nice. Anti right there. Aaron blocks him and picks up. Oh, 6S called. Push block is low. Both in neutral now. Jedi here trying to take advantage of the coming echo call. I'm just kind of running low. Denji here really playing against the clock right now. Oh, tries to hit him. Wow. With a pseudo left right there. Tries to catch, clip him low. Whoa. Oh, and just fuzzy matches 5 in the clip. That was really good. Shit. That was nice. Getting up around once again. Incredible patience by Jin there, blocking all of that. Yeah, seriously, yeah. His defense is solid. Oh, TG there. Oh, backs away, but gets clipped with 5 AB. Still plus because of the plates. 2B ends here. JC. Then hits plates with him at 5A. Oh, 2B ends here once again. Clipping that. Clipping uh, Sutenshi. Yo, backing. Oh, gets grab baited and gets blown up with the fireworks. Seems that Jin taking full control right now with this match. Oh, oh micro walk under again. 5A. Oh, nice 5B there. Oh, the G gets coming echo here. Getting pressure, Jin not push blocking because he's knowing that he'll spend meter because he has life lead. Oh, Columbus in the corner. Oh, comes in with 2A. And Jin winning four in a row. Now is up 1 0 in losers. Both of them. Jin really on the warpath right now, trying to prove a point. That 3 0 was, was. I don't know, man. This is just insane play. And Power was in there, so then he doesn't capitalize on that, doesn't punish him. Oh, nice 5 8 there, catching Jin, trying to uh, uh, jump forward at him. Doesn't matter, a scramble situation in the air, at least Jin hard knocked down in the corner. Oh, so he tries to wake up 2 A. Oh, nice 2 A B there, convinces Trump. Okay, side switch, yep. Getting him into the corner, that was really good. Yeah, it was. Oh, but Jin just grabs him. On wake up. Oh, nice oh, block on the 4B. Wow. So let's hold this though, because the plate. Really good discipline by, by Carry there. Blocking. Catches him with the blow.
It's climax there. It's hard knockdown. Rushing in 5C. Also, you can't call me Neko there. Call me Neko, pressure in the corner. Oh, tries to bait Jin into doing an option there with just like air dashing him, not doing nothing. Comes <laughs> out. Gotta get out of that corner. Oh my oh god, no. dude, nice. Can't catch and carry on the ground there with 2A. Nice grab there. This can be death, but uh, Sepechi doesn't want to spend any, any needless meter here. He wants to. Oh, nice block there, Nick. Oh, wow. Ooh, what a confirm there. Yeah, what a confirm. Wow. The reaction and awareness to just like instantly just go into your super like that. That's insane. Once again, jump up, get up around. Way be different. Carry. Blast. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure Jin tried to power up. Was there. I guess escape blast instead. The climax off. It's not supposed to block this. Then blocking. Well. Push blocks him away. Gain distance. Nice push right there from Jin. You're completely avoiding the play. Oh, 2 3 6 there. Man, those run on those 5 A's are yeah. really getting carried. Caesar. Oh, gets hit there by fireworks. Oh, oh nice there grab goes. there on the trump. Puts him in the corner. Don't need at least two hit confirms. At least. Nice. Unless. Yeah, no. That, not dead. That's a uh, grab starter. It scales really badly. Yeah. It's probation on the grab, right? Yeah. Oh, coming echo call doesn't matter because again, you can just push blocker for free when you're down in life. Both gauging each other's distance here. Oh, backing. Oh, hit, oh. gets hit by 5C there. Is he gonna not, do it? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna say not dead. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very he lives, yeah. Oh, oh Freddy V's there, but keeps himself safe with Trump. That's why he did it. Oh, oh and gets clipped. Wow. Yeah. Both got hit. Again now, 2-0. Winning five games Dude, straight now. If that 2A came out any slower, he would have been. Yeah. Yeah. Just those little moments, you yeah. know, those little things that like just gives you like the little upper hand to take a like, single game. Just seems that Jin seems to just been. Like, he seems to just find his groove. Like, he knows exactly what to do now. Like, he's not, like, really phased by anything that's happening anymore. Yeah, it's like, up back, Jay sees him. He just seems so much more comfortable in this set. They see the... Oh, nice high there from Sutenshi. Open Jin. It's hard knockdown calls Kornako here. Damn, really good blocks here. Who sees, delays it, gets cl uh, clips to Tenchi. Our knockdown. Fades back. Then the neutral, coming echo. Then force the block. Nice grab take there. Oh my god, that 2B, yeah, man. He's he's so aware. He just, the moment Kerry tried to jump at him, he's so ready to just end here with that 2B. And again, up around. Let's see, I wonder if this is it. <laughs> Will Jin take this whole turn or will Harry fight back here? Yeah, he's one point away from winning it all. But again, Sutenji still has a bunch of meter here. Jin doesn't really have anything to play with, but... It's, it's still Jin advantage here because... He doesn't necessarily need to spend any resources here in the second round. Because in the third, like, he can just like... Pretty much here, Jin just wants to waste as much resources as possible to win this round so yeah. that way going into the final round it, it can just be completely roll, no, roll over nice grab there both players got to play this really really resourceful yeah seriously another nice grab there from Sutenshi been just content to block not really push blocking here and wants to kind of save his resource uh, push blocks there and doesn't want to carry to carry oh. pressure off oh, IAB's oh. Oh, it drops, doesn't matter. He's still yep. plus here. I'm gonna go once again, but again, you can just push back that for free. Oh, clips, and they're nice. 
Hard knock down here. Getting just a moment to breathe here. Yeah, oh, oh nice. clips in there, nice. nice. And that should be one round for Satenji here. At least one round's down. Yeah. Has to ignite, has to ignite blast, use escape blast there. But as you said, look, his meter is gone. That's what I'm saying, yeah. that's what I mean, like... Jen's got a little bit more to work with. That's what happens, like, yeah, you want to win the second round, and you have to do it by any means necessary, but going into the final round, you're really not left with much. But when I say that, Carrie managed to power up us there, and uh, get plenty of uh, cash himself. Oh, nice to be there, confirms into Trump. You see OGG, calls in Koroneko, tries to hit him high again. Again, try to hit oh, him high. Wow. Air dash is in, Jin's blocking all these. Oh my god, again, these run on their 5A's yeah, are these just. These micro dash is under. Oh, close oh, on the 5A man. there. This is not looking good for K. Kamineko. Oh, Kamineko kind of saving him there. Didn't force a block, gets grabbed. Man, the throw was so good. They're still alive here in this game. Sutenchi still clearing on here. It's really he's carrying for both players here. This is literally the best scenario. Oh, when I say that, cover drop. Oh, it's giving us a has to. He had to. He had to. He was about to die. Jin here, really advantageous here. Really scary pressure right now. Even if Jin gets hit, he still has a freaking defense modifier. Yeah. 18 plus. Oh, oh that should be it. That, that, that should be it. it. And there we go. Jin takes it. 3-0. Resets the bracket. Takes it. He's your Degeki Bunko Fighting Clax champion. For 2022 here inside bracket for Evo. Man. Wow. This this is wild. Wild. Absolutely that was just, wild. That was just awesome. That was literally just an amazing dis display of skill. Like, through and through. Didn't make the right adjustments. He was more comfortable with himself. Gauge distance a lot better. Those are cheating JCEs. Those micro walks 5As. Like, he just knew. He just knew what to do. Man. What a tournament, guys. Seriously. Uh, what's up? Yeah. Okay, got it. All right. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's it. That's that's the whole stream. Um, it really is cool that, again, that we get, we got as much, many people as we did. And, you know, shout outs for Vortex Gallery for, you know, hosting DFCI in general and seriously this is just amazing it was just an amazing experience and we appreciate all the efforts that went through organizing this and that's that's it really that's all I have to say just really selfless people uh okay sure, sure all right uh I think you guys can hear me all right uh I'd like to say yeah. thank you everyone for tuning out to this I really appreciate it uh, this was a little bit of a last minute effort uh, between Dan and I to get this all taken care of. Um, and I appreciate everybody for coming out for Dengaki. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the future. Manchurino's still open for a little bit because people haven't prized out yet. If there's codes left, there's sponsor codes left, and you are in the Twitch chat, how many people we got watching? I, I guarantee yeah, some go. of you haven't claimed a sponsor code. Go to that match, Reno. Support these yeah, guys, players. Seriously. They flew out from Japan to play Dengenki yeah. Bunko Fighting Climax Ignition for the Sony PlayStation 4. Uh, thank you all for coming through. We've got Undernight tomorrow starting 10 a.m. to... Uh, yeah. So there you go. You, like, listen, you already experienced French bread, and obviously, if you love French bread, stick around for Undernight tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What's more to there to say? Exactly. Seriously. Thanks, thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in.